Hello, welcome. It's hard lore time. How are you, Bo? I got fired yesterday. <laughs> day two of unemployment. Or this is day one. This is day one. Yeah, I worked yesterday. But then again, I, I worked the last two years, so. Right. Um, well, well, congrats, slash, sorry, slash. Right. Welcome to this very special episode. It's very special. I... Okay, so we had we we were gonna do Sanguis to Gabog. Yes. Um had a last then, minute reset. Well Devin answered the Zoom in a cornfield on 4G and we were like, brother, you wanna do this when you get home? And he was like, Hell yeah. So we'll do that. <laughs> uh, and that'll be awesome. So we that'll be in a couple weeks. Quick pivot. And Colin had a great idea. I've been wanting to do this for uh, since the um Master Killer tier one. Yeah. Is basically that. But, but for breakdowns only. Only, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this is all that matters to me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, it's funny, too, because, like, there are songs with, like, incredible intros or whatever that don't have a great breakdown. You know what I mean? Like, But like, an intro counts. Does you know? it count as a breakdown? To, to me, I think, when I say breakdown, yeah. I don't mean, like, the song builds and builds to it. It's a part... For, for killing. You and know? that can be immediate. I think it can be, absolutely. An intro absolutely counts. There's a, there's a couple of songs that I didn't put on my list that, like, um, Never Surrender Virtue, 100 Demons, doesn't, like, it, the breakdown is the intro, mm -hmm. which is, the, like, one of the crazy, craziest parts ever. Mm -hmm. um, Voice of Contention by Hatebreed, the breakdown is just the intro played sure. slower. You know, I, it's, I think that's a perfectly it is a breakdown. It is a breakdown. Okay, cool. You know? Cool. Okay. So we're it's really it's not so much a breakdown as it is the part where you try to kill somebody. The mosh the mosh the, the mosh part. The mosh yeah. is how I define the breakdown. I don't think it needs to be a three minute build to this thing, although many on my list, most my uh, other than one, my entire top five are long builds to these parts. Um and that's what makes them so satisfying. But we'll get there much later. Um, yeah, right, right, right. I got to put my top five. I am I got three. Keep going. I'm just... Okay. Organized. We've both prepared, what, 25 to 30 parts? I got 32. Oh, because I, I have wanted, 31. I wanted, so that's I wanted perfect. To, I wanted to beat you. I did say I had 31, so it is a good strategy on your part to, to do <laughs> one more. I could probably think of five more yeah, on the fly, I though. Yeah, you could. Um, my... Since you already brought it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to me that one of the one of the best breakdowns of all time is 100 demons never surrender virtue or need desit virtus yeah, or whatever yeah, the, Bruce, Bruce dude, called I, it. Dude I I listened to that today when I was at the gym because on the moment I'm unemployed now. Yes. Um I listened to the like the demo version of that song and it's like so I don't want to say funny because it's not like funny but it's so like a diamond in the absolute rough. Yeah. I mean, you know it's, I mean, it's cool to hear from the demo to the LP to the second LP, mm -hmm. the progression of the song just gets, they, they, they fine tune. They know what they got. Yeah. They you know, know what they got. That's a really good way to put it. Um, and in, in doing the intro bookending a song with the same riff is not easy to do and make it interesting. Dude. Yeah. But when you hit it with my life, my crew, fuck you. Fuck you. It's it's a whole new part, and I that's like the that. magic of Never Surrender Virtue by One Hundred Demons. Let me do. I'm gonna do my Hundred Demons song then. I love it. So I thought I have t I have some backups just in case you say the same thing. Okay. So I thought I knew you were gonna say Hundred Demons. Obviously, I thought you might say either Forsaken or Time Bomb. If Infected you said, is my runner up. That's your runner up. Okay. So in in the event that you said time bomb, I said non-believer. And dude, non-believer has a part that's only used once, the second verse, where it's like that part is so fucking awesome. It's like an underutilized part, in my opinion, that is like I remember hearing that I remember like Two stepping to that as a young man at the they, bottom. They they do that a lot on self title where they'll just hit you with it once and not do it again. And which you're just is like, whoa, but um highly respectable. The the breakdown to non believer is freaking right. I will see you. 
yeah. unbelievable part. Unbelievable. Dude, when he, yeah, when he does the like screamy one. Yeah. Not believer. It's, uh, it's so it builds to that the whole time. Again, you see that a lot in this list. So awesome. All right. All right. My next one. Bear with me here. Okay. I I got I got I got a couple out me there too. picks on here. Me too. I know you do. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the band is called Candlemass. <laughs> hmm. From well, the. Yeah. From the self-titled reunion album, oh, where Messiah came back, mm -hmm. there's a song called Witches. And Bo, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to listen to the, the official Hard Lore Favorite Breakdowns playlist mm. in the link description below to hear this breakdown in this song, Witches. It sounds like... Like Candle Mass listened to like Bitter End <laughs> <laughs> and and wrote a part and it's in it's it comes out of nowhere and is insanely hard. It's legitimately like they were like, let's put a big fucking mosh part here. How does like what how does it go? Hum it. It goes dun 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 It's hard as shit. Um, <laughs> and then there's like a crazy dive bomb over it, like halfway through. And they know what they have here. They know what they did. It was intentional. And it was on the soundtrack for the um, Jack Black starring video game Brutal Legend. Oh, I remember that game. So then you maybe heard Witches in the background. I maybe, yeah, I maybe did. Wow, I wonder, who, dun, I wonder dun, who, dun, like, dun. grabbed that. Some PR guy, probably. I always wonder about that. Remember Girl Next Door had Youth of Today in it for a bit? For, like, it's, 10 seconds? So I was an art PA... On catfish one time. Okay. And I they used they decorated a room with just my posters. So ninety nine percent of the time it's something like it's that. It's just like a guy. There's so just like a the, guy who happens to have some posters. Like the airheads infest sticker. Well, the van is decked out. It's like obituary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in, yeah. yeah there's all kinds of, and the the championship vinyl in, in high fidelity, you know? Or like is, dude, three ninjas, the Metallica stickers they got. The shirt. Sick. Yeah, the shirt. Like, shirt it's all the plus boys. head stuff. Yeah. I always yeah. wonder about shit like that. All right. It's just a guy. Just, yeah, just a guy. I, I, just I a believe guy. you. All right, so this one is not... Um, these are not in any order. These all just came to me okay. through the through the ether, right? I thought maybe this is going to be on your list, so I, ch I chose a different Machine Head song from a record that we both like. I don't have any Machine Head on my Okay, so Davidian is like an obvious all time so a this lot was, of people yeah switched. a lot of people and it's like so valid mm -hmm. that song's fucking incredible but i went with the deeper cut just because the bill it's a 10 minute song so the first song on the on the blackening mm -hmm. clenching the fists of descent the ending the do 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 as it's like fading out too, it's yeah. like not really there. And he goes, <laughs> dude, <laughs> that song, um, when it fades out, when it fades out, you can hear it like end and the fade out. So they oh. faded it out to like just when they stopped playing, which Brutal. I always think is funny. Yeah, I think um, Arms Way did that on reality approaches. There's a song that fades out where we like stop. <laughs> you didn't know it. That was your first album. <laughs> they've, first been a band. they've been a band for 50 years. <laughs> So the cool thing about this song too is it has like a couple breakdowns kind of. Uh -huh. There's like the the um, creeping death rip off part, right? Which that's is so kind funny. of a breakdown. That Metallica heard that and they were like, "This is incredible. This is the best song I've ever." Heard. <laughs> uh, you know, Kirk Hammett wrote that wrote the breakdown riff to Creeping Death when he was 16, and that's why. <laughs> They're not good anymore. It's because they're using the riffs they had when they were 16, and it just took a while. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Couple, I think the new one could be all right. I think it could be all right. I'm excited. There's a track or two in the last couple of years, but mm -hmm. that's about it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, my next pick from Troy, New York, oh. Stigmata, with the song Save Us. Track one, Hymns for an Unknown God. Uh, the entire song is, <laughs> is, a, is a mosh part. Yeah. And made better when the when the mosh, mosh part comes in as a mosh part, there's an amazing solo on it. Oh. So it's like, 
solo mosh yeah is hot that's yeah that's science that's that's serious mosh science um and i think they were they they what they did in the lab that day was a was a scientific breakthrough how cool was it for you to play drums for them it was very cool like was Um, that like a real wow moment like a real it it, it was i've never experienced anything like that where it was like hey do you want to come play all these songs you know so well yeah you know like i got i played the songs that i practiced drums to right you know? right yeah 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 um so this is special yeah that's cool even if it was just the one time i did it you know um so speaking of songs where the entire song is a pit with a crazy breakdown i have a relatively recent near and dear to both our hearts song okay it's called wide open wound oh wow and called nails <laughs> and then the the breakdown is just someone going insane with a pick scrape oh dude that is a perfect song it is a perfect song uh my nails pick would be god's cold hands dude so th- so i initially wrote that no no yeah. bullshit that was my initial pick and then i really had to think about what our topic was sure and i think the breakdown for wide open wound and and the i mean the entire song. The entire song is mosh. There were a couple sets where that was the scariest. Oh, it was. You know what I remember so well is uh, Anthony Fantano's review of Abandon All Life. What did he say? He said, during Wide Open Wound, talking about the pick slide. Yeah. He said, and then there's a guitar solo that's just really not that interesting. It's a fucking pick slide. Oh, my God. This loser. Anyway. God's Cold uh, Hands would, would be my nails pick. Dude, the fucking, the, the God. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Which yeah. I thought was Saba back in the day. And I like text because he can do like low stuff like that. Yeah. It's just Todd. It's all Todd. It's all Todd. Very dope. Uh, my next pick, which I didn't even put together until somebody pointed it out. Oh. Is Saba, Save Us ripped this off. Oh. Sepultura propaganda <laughs> okay so that's that's the sepultura song I dun, 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 you know that it's I, like the same little pattern at the beginning but this whole song is pit basically uh, yeah arguably yeah Don't and then they go they go pit to pit to pit with the bass break dude the trip yeah which is like that's a harm's way staple the bass break open symbol part like into dan and so okay so let me let me pivot then because that was my sepultura pick okay um maybe you can go desperate cry or dead embryonic cells easily but like what i've learned to really love is fucking nomad with the sped up like it's it's not a breakdown in that it's the verse sped up and for some reason it's so cool i mean a lot of bands pull who can pull that off it like all at war truth in the edge of lies the title track they already you already hear the big pit earlier in the song played a little faster yeah and then they slow it down, and he says "truth in the age of lies" over it, and it feels like a completely different part. Yeah, so it just takes a little nuance. To, you say to it all the time. Improve. Sometimes it's just dumb shit, just like works. You know, like you'll see a lot. A lot on my list is really smart people playing something really. Tell super on tell your eyes adjust story. In that, mm-hmm. what the song originally was. Oh. Because that's that fits sure. that fits with what I'm talking about. Um, I suggest started as uh, the beginning riff was much less complicated. It was like very simple, and it was kind of more like just an Alpha Omega Chromax riff. Mm-hmm. And it was me being like Taylor, "What if we did something like this?" And he said, "What if it was the best riff ever?" And said, and then <laughs> wrote the riff. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the transition was just dun, ga, da, da, ga, da, dun, dun. Uh, and then it was the verse was just dun, 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 never sped up 
Never sped up. Never sped up. And we were playing, when playing it together, we were just like, this sucks. Like, this is supposed to be track one. This fucking sucks. Wow. Uh, and then just sitting there, sped it up, um, changed the whole thing, really made it feel like track one. And I've heard a lot of bands do that. Since. It's genius. It's just genius. a quick. It's a great part. Quick, quick, quick tempo increase of the same thing you're already doing. Sometimes that's all you need. What, I mean, it, need. what is it? T- Fifteen BPM? Probably, BPM, but know? a lot. And a lot of the times, when writing, my my biggest thing, what takes a, the longest time, is finding the tempo for a hard ass riff, or even a not hard ass riff, because there's right. a it like right. when you're a film composer, you get to write that part and do it all those ways. You get to play it every single way that you envision it. In like every every scene in the movie, you know, right? Of course. As a hardcore band, <laughs> you can't really do that in a span of a three minute song. You have to like pick one, even if it's not the one that you have like originally envisioned it in. It's it's a compromise. This writing shit. Mm. When you look at it scientifically. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was your sepultura pick. My sepultura, yeah, my sepultura pick. Was I mean, so I think we agree that is Propaganda the best song? Uh, It's the best pit to me. Okay. The best Sepultura fucking pitch. I would say Desperate Cry is probably the best song. But in terms of what today would make me most primal would be Propaganda. I mean, the first second you hear the... Like, it's It's, immediate. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm, got guns appear. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Right. Yeah. Um, my next pick, Ringworm. Oh. Justice. Yeah. By <laughs> revenge, Two in a brother. row, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> dude. Starts uh, the fucking record? Yeah, dude. F- dude, the <sighs> insane way to start a record. Just get it, 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 um, yeah, so like intense, the coolest, monster. the coolest lyrics, the coolest voice, and it all builds into this kind of rare moment for them. Yeah, they don't. They preface it when they play it like, "This is for all you, you spin kickers, ninja like, kicker motherfuckers," because they you know? know what they wrote. They know what they did here. They wrote one of the scientifically the best breakdowns of all time. Um, Bam. again. Bam, nah, nah, nah. I said this in a previous episode, but to this riff, I've committed (laughs) war crimes. (laughs) Things that will are that are illegal in this country, (laughs) I have done to justice replaced by revenge. So thank you. Great song, great record for anyone who doesn't really know Ringworm. I think most people will be like the promise or birth is pain. Yeah, and then kind of like cool guy the rest, but. Justice I think young, younger people really lo- like Justice Replaced okay, by Okay, good, good, good. Which is good. That, that um, record fucking blew my ass. It's amazing. Ass, I'm telling I you. I loved how much the drummer went, yeah, yeah, with the double yeah. K. It's so, he does that so much. That There's the song God Eat God, where the whole song yeah. is a pit. <laughs> what you Dude. Dude, so hard. Well, well, I remember, because it comes right after an acoustic song, yeah. and I remember when, it, when I, like, heard that for the first time, I, like, couldn't believe Dude, it. That's um, a good topic is is like interlude to next song transitions. I'll tell you what a great one is. Dude. This is not a breakdown. This yeah, is just yeah. its own thing. Yeah. I never listen to Depeche Mode Enjoy the Silence mm-hmm. without listening to Waiting for the Night first. Because you earn that five that, minute yeah, of yeah. like somber, dark peace. Is and, just and then it hits so fucking hard. Yeah, coming out I like of that. Night. I like that. That's a fun topic for another. Uh, 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 here's here's another one that comes off the top of my head. Is um, I'm just secondhand news. I'm just secondhand, secondhand news. news. Yeah. Boom, 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 oh, right into there, huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not even much of a transition or anything, but it's just like you got to earn dreams. Yeah. This. I mean, sequencing. That's why yeah. sequencing is important. Um, okay, so my ringworm song was Justice. So I'm going to pivot, and I'm going to say House of Hell, which is on that record. But I prefer the Terror Split version. Yeah. 
which you played with them, right? And it's got two pits that are so fucking good. Which is, again, extremely rare for them. Yeah, very rare. Whatever Great they pit. were doing, writing at that time is like, that's my wheelhouse. That's they my were smoking favorite that, that real good crack. I need to get some of that. Uh, that's a great pick. My my next pick. Yeah. Neurosis. Oh. The doorway. Interesting. I don't know it. <laughs> um, Twitching Tongues opened with this one time. One time at Branch Street in Sacramento. Really? And somebody on the tour was like, what was that thing you opened with? And they were, we were like, Neurosis. And they were like, you probably shouldn't do it again. <laughs> so, so Neurosis songs are best left to Neurosis, apparently. <laughs> to the professional. Just let them do it. Um, you know, I never, for as much as I saw Twitching Tongues, I never saw you guys play a cover except for the one Carnivore cover the one time. You never saw Master Killer? Nope. We pulled that out of our ass every other day. Never saw it. That's crazy. Never saw it. That's, that's, that's crazy because we're a band who can't play any show without being asked to do covers. I, uh, right. Never saw a cover. I guess in 2013, we were like, please listen to our music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that makes sense. And then sense. 2015, you had a record out. We had a record out. Yeah. Uh, and then after that and before that, we were like, let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To bookend your neurosis pick, I'll go Do with it. my Converge pick. Which, there's a lot. Converge is so a, dude, many. Converge is a band where it's like they'll give you think about Concubine. Like it like yeah. that's right out the rip. I put like, it on today just to see if So I did I. It. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, so I did I. I was like, I know Converge has a million, but I wanted to pick so one that's like a little deep. Yeah. And it's on Jane Doe, which like okay. might be kind of like an obvious thing, but dude, Heaven in Her Arms, mm. which is like it doesn't the part kind of comes out of nowhere. But sure. it's one that's like dun, 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 on on man. to me, mm-hmm. not a particularly like mosh driven record. But dude, right? Yes, not. God, I keep punching the fucking mic. Yeah, not a, not a moshy record. Yeah, it's more of so like the a, parts. The parts hit when they hit. Yeah, dude, and like this part, and then he switches to the, dun, he, dun, he switches dun. from the yeah. toms to like the crash, and it's like. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude! Yeah, it, it, this is. I. I mean, I. I went. I went scientific with with Converge here. Yeah, which I had to. Because think about in the scope of breakdowns, Saturday the Saddest Day is one of uh, the yeah, best of all yeah, time. Yeah, but you. I, okay. I wasn't. I didn't. There. I didn't. I fought the urge to go deep. Which well, which part is the breakdown to you? That. Okay. I mean, there's, there's, there's the pits all over part. this thing. Yeah, there's sing along part too. Dad, dad, yeah. Top, top, you justify. justify. Yeah. So there's t- like, there's there's a lot in this song, but the saddest day pit is undeniably. Okay, I have one. Beef. One of the greatest ever. What? I have one beef. One of my least favorite things in music, period. <laughs> Is a steady tempo increase. Oh, I'm down, dude. So not 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 what we were talking about with Eyes Adjust, uh-huh. or or Nomad, where it just like happens and that's the new BPM. But I think it's, that was that's like what was different and creative about this, you know. I love. I you think know what it, it makes, makes me, think me of feel crazy every time. You know what it makes me think of every time is what's that. A little bit louder now. A little bit louder now. A little bit like every <laughs> time it makes me now? think of like it makes me think of like a wedding band. Like all right, here we go. Here we, hey, we're going fast. Hey, like, yeah, yeah, hey, you know what I mean. Hey. Converge was on their uh, their <laughs> wedding crashers soundtrack. Hit me with the haze and the day. Uh, I disagree <laughs> disrespectfully. I, um, I mean, I, look, that's and song. I think that's what adds to the insanity of this is like. When people are murdering each other, this song they gotta murder a little faster. They eventually. crank it up, yeah. I mean, and that's you're not, fun. You're not wrong, and obviously that doesn't turn me off from the song or the part. Right. It just does the one thing. In you're music not into that. That I really dislike. I've know. never done it. I've never pulled. I think it's hard to pull off. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that I think that they deserve their praise for that one. My next one is a throwdown song. 
And I went with a non-obvious one. It's a deeper cut. It's at the okay. end of Beyond Repair, I think. Okay. It's called The Edge is Strong. The Edge is indeed strong. There are a couple songs I have on here that maybe the 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 riff isn't like, ah. I'm, but it's, it's not like, all about that, though. Right. It's the, the moment. Po- it's the moment. So the moment. I'll get more into that, but the the end of this song is straight edge, we won't compromise. Straight right. edge together, straight edge forever. Straight edge, all my friends. Gung, 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 Which gung, 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 at like, 15... 13 dude yeah yeah exactly was was all i wanted and the riff is good and it's very it's a very heavy part but like when i that's what i wanted as a young edge i want to hear a band be like we're fucking straight edge yeah like i was dying for that which if you think about like gamora season ends you know the breakdown (laughs) spoiler alert (laughs) oh good i picked a different one Okay. Not particularly crazy riff wise. Right. Triple but, A. But the repetition of I am straight edge <laughs> is like, is, is one, like that in the right circumstances is one of the most violent things you will ever see. It's so Sh- cool. Straight edge together, straight edge forever. Fucking A, brother. Go, um, go, go, go. So throw it on. My a lot of people picked forever and like there's other tracks, but like this is a deep cut. I wanted one. No, I respect that. I'm down with that. My next one, uh, probably not one you're familiar with. Band called Irate. I I mean, yeah, I might not know but the part. Do you know the song CPR? Oh, a couple people suggested that. Yeah, they're not wrong. It's the part <laughs> that goes, uh, he's, it's the song's about cops. You know, that some, <laughs> some of the best anti-police lyrics ever. Mm. Mm. And then ends it with, you know what, bitch? <laughs> uh, get on your fucking knees and beg beg me to spare your life and then there's a gunshot implying that he killed this police officer mm-hmm. and he goes dun 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 and it hit with the with the gunshot sound effect it comes in insane and the build up mm. is really cool mm. uh, and this is one of many contenders on this record uh, the record is 1134 uh, opens with one of the greatest pits ever, follows up with one of the greatest pits ever. But CPR, I think, is is like the moment on the it, album. The breakdown is apparently so good that you forgot words because you said, they not wrong. <laughs> when not I wrong. said a lot of people pick this. I couldn't they, help. They not wrong. That's what, that's what I rate does. That's what <laughs> I rate do. All right. My next one is my is a oh I didn't put a single fucking bull thrower song on this. How could you? Fuck. You um, can share mine, all right, brother? Yeah. You don't yeah, worry. I, I'm sure I agree with it. You do. Um so <laughs> I this is me paying homage. And it's an obvious song, but it wasn't until we toured with Cannibal Corpse that I realized Ooh. how heavy they play the breakdown to Hammer Smash Face. Hammer Smash Face is your pick? Dude, the... But they play it really slow live. Like, they sure. know what they, they Oh, they absolutely... We, we've established that they yeah. know. Oh, they... Yeah, they full-on know. If, if in their perfect world, the whole crowd has been kicking. And I, <laughs> yeah, I really quite, respect Quite that. literally. You know? Um, <laughs> I see skies. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what Cannibal Corpse sees in their dreams. Spin kicks um, and, and stick mans. Cannibal Corpse is a band with no shortage of pit parts. Like like hardcore, heavy yes. ass pit parts. They know. They know. But this was just like one where I remember watching them and and like every they close with it every night. This is mm-hmm. like they have to. It's like the song. And I just every night when that part finally comes in, yeah. It's just like, holy fuck, this is heavy. I, I picked a different song. By Cannibal? Yeah. Okay. I just thought. And you, I mean, you're going to understand. Yeah. You know? Because it's just like, the first time I heard this, when it was a new song, I just threw my arms up and said, oh, which song? they did it. Scourge which of Iron. Dude. Come on. <laughs> Dude, but the intro is so much harder coming out of the just... Yeah. Uh, 
truly legendary buildup into a mosh part that is then the entire song. And a cool solo. I'm not like a huge like solo guy. You know what I mean? Like that's not really my thing that I like about guitar playing. Mm -hmm. Um, But the soul. Okay. Here's why. I think it's hard to make a solo fit in a death metal song or, or, or to make a solo. But I, I, what I mean is like thematically fit. Huh? Like you can play scales and it's like, yeah, that's like a fucking scale. That yeah. doesn't fit a song about a scourge of iron. However, the I, solo in this song does yeah. the ma- it's chaotic and cool and like right. kind of scary sounding. And I think that that I have a hard time separating the two things sometimes. So I, I'm saying that for this song, it's you, awesome. You think it works? I've Absolutely. never heard I feel like a death metal song without a solo is like a crazy decision. Really? Yeah, I think it kind of it means you might suck. No, you know, I'm I'm telling you, bands do it all the time. I but barely. There's always one because they're like, no, I swear to God, we're good at music. You know, well, like well, that's. What, but but I'm saying every song doesn't need it. In death metal, yeah, they mostly have them though. It's, you know what's You'll, funny is now that I'm thinking of it is like the the death metal bands that I like don't really have them that much. Well, the, and they can barely play them as well. Like, you know? <laughs> no, no. Like, both row, both row doesn't have that many. They're in there. They're in there, but it's not. And they're every all like, song. "Wee, wee, wee right?" Wee, which I'm, it's fine. I'm, I'm into the Whistler solo. That's fine. Oh yeah, that that's, counts. That's if that counts, then then it's different. Oh, it absolutely. I'm talking, counts. but then here's okay. Here's my caveat. Bill Steer fucking carcass solos. Yeah. They're like bluesy and beautiful and work yeah. every time. He's a god. He can do it. I'm just saying, for in my for my taste, they're like few and far between. They have to be like really good. And in my opinion, you like a bar, like a caveman obituary type death metal. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah and I sure. do too. Right, right. Two nights in Reseda on the Cause of Death tour. <laughs> That's no LA date. Two nights in Reseda. That's one of the coolest things a band has ever done. Great job, obituary. Uh, my next pick, Bo. You ready for this? Yeah. So I said cannibal. Okay. What's your yes. next one? And then you said score. So really, it yeah. should be my turn. But like, you want to go? I mean, go ahead. <laughs> no. Take it away. Go ahead. I'm looking something up while you're doing it. My next pick. Yeah. You're gonna shit both your asses. Metallica. <gasps> for whom the bell tolls. Oh, beautiful. The whole it thing was is that. A pit. It was that or thing that should not be. Also, the whole thing is a pit. <laughs> Both those songs, beautiful. But think about what dun 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 did for music. Dude, the, yeah. There's You're a lot of things me... we might not have ever had without dun 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 dun. dun okay, so dun, let's dun, let's dun. really extrapolate, right? What that's eighty four, eighty five, I think. Right, ride the lightning. Out? I think so. That's crazy. Cause kill them all. I think it was eighty three. So it's got to be. Um, it's early. It's it, it, well. Okay. They were going dun 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 in the early '80s. That much is true. So what I'm saying, uh, '84. So what I'm saying is <clears throat> '84, dude. '84, July 27th. Oh four three one in '84. Yeah, it's actually oh three two one. Oh my mm-hmm. god! Even dumber. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, from that, do oh. we get do we get death metal parts, and then do we get beat down parts? God, I keep punching this fucking mic. But you, you know, like if you extrapolate it, yeah, I really do think there's like it's a, a domino. That's I, dude I, for for whom the bell tolls. Intro pit is a big domino in yeah in the hatred scale. Yeah, you know, the, yes, it's it's Perfect. it's like the first. It's one of the first dominoes in that in that uh, really equation. well said. So I got to give it up to for whom the bell tolls because that part a still hard, still hard. B what is that E flat well so here's something that's weird about ride is it's a 445 it's all tuned up i personally think personally think that mm-hmm. it was sped up mm. i think it's a little studio magic i think it's to help the double bass on fight fire with fire if you also notice james voice is never that high again wasn't really that high on kill them all either well it's He's, all it also sounds altered he, yeah you're right. So it's, You're it's a, a sneaking suspicion. Wow. 
wah, wah, do, 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 do. The truth is out there. <laughs> and it's on hard lore. Um, what do, right. What's your next one? My next one, we're bringing it back. We're coming. Bring it back. We're going straight back to hardcore. I love it. Terror. Oh. A little song called One with the Underdogs. The wow. reason, the reason that that's my pick is, is what do I always say about a particular Madball song being a perfect hardcore song? Uh, can't stop, won't stop. That's perfect a perfect hardcore, hardcore, hardcore song. song to me. It's short. It gives you what you want. It's got the Verse, lyrics. pit, verse, songs over. One with the underdogs has the crazy triplet chorus. Yeah. It's got a one of the easiest, and I, I mean easiest as in like, uh, caveman y breakdowns. Yeah. It's got Martine saying, I said, I said, bleh. Yeah. It, that <laughs> fucking part yeah. is so cool. And also, it was like the, the follow up record. Yes. You know, it was the sophomore, the first song on the sophomore record. Yeah. And it kicks ass. Recorded in Van Nuys. Dude, fucking. With a heart made of steel. I when I first it. heard yeah. that lyric, I was like, I don't really get that. And like over the years, it's like, dude, that lyric yeah. is incredible. Yeah, that's that's all I want in music now. I everything about that and, and Terror is also a band that obviously has no shortage of pit parts. No, no, they're still writing them and they're still they're and like they're getting just, better, which yeah. is fucked up. But that one for me, I also really love fucking is it what, what's the one with furnace I mean, on it? Yo, know, spit my rage is spit my rage is unbelievable. But you know what? It, it made me then think of my, my Slayer pick. So I like pivoted in my brain. That's how you gotta play. <laughs> I remember I showed spit my rage to my dad when I was like trying to learn how to play like that, uh -huh. and my dad straight up went. He like listened to it and he went, "Well, you only have to play it once, right in the studio, huh?" <laughs> like he like didn't believe that somebody could do it. Dads are so stupid. He's so stupid. <laughs> My pick is one with the underdogs. Great pick. Perfect song. Um, I'm going to keep it in hardcore for a bit. Yeah, yeah, good idea. My next pick, Newfound Friends of the Show. Oh, I thought you were going to say Newfound Glory. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. where are you going with this? No, no. Band from New Jersey. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry. That's right, Bo, New Jersey. <laughs> Colin, please. <laughs> Band called Fury of Five. Mm. The song is called Do or Die. It's a great pick. This breakdown <laughs> has not one palm mute in it. Wow. And I think being as hard as it is without one traditional wow. chug deserves high praise. That is, is also the moment in the music video that maybe affected me the most in, <laughs> in, 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 of anything in my life. Um, three notes, and it's just no, no, just open and still hits hard. And then later in the song, they do the pinch harmonic pit. The yeah, yeah. And then it's hard as fuck. That is a... Dude, pointing out the fact that uh there's no palm meets is pretty crazy it's that was it it's crazy because almost everything else has something in, yeah you know other than one Ooh, okay which it kind of does but not in the traditional way you'll see by the way my metallica pick is in my top five so that's why i had oh I very fair respond with one very um fair. all right so you said spit my rage yeah when I was considering, obviously that was in there, and then I yeah. went, "Oh, well, that run." Oh, oh. So my Slayer pick is Ghosts of War. <sighs> that I mean, Slayer is another band where it's like I don't think they wrote; <laughs> they did not necessarily no. write parts to like be mosh parts. I think they went, "This is fucking heavy." Yeah, right. I think yeah, <laughs> I think it just if I had to guess, I think it came really organically. Yeah, Ghosts of War gives it to you twice. Yeah. And, and has one of the greatest drum fills. Uh, one of the best. I think that's a top three drum fill ever. Oh, love it. 
Love um, and like of all genre? Of all time, oh, any what? music. It's like Ghosts of War, Off the Wall, <laughs> uh, Spiderwebs. Uh, in in no the doubt. Air Tonight <laughs> by Phil Collins. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I guess I'm a, that's, a, that's a whole other conversation, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We'll get, um, we'll get there. Ghosts of War is fucking amazing. Oh, incredible track. It's on South of Heaven, so like the production is like perfect. Yeah, it is. I love the production on South of Heaven. Guitars are like kind of dry, like everything, the drums sound great. Um, uh, if I picked this, I mean, it's barely a pit, but spill the blood. Dude, yeah, awesome part. Dude. How many times have I stolen that riff? Holy you know what else? God. The, uh, raining blood has a pit part. <laughs> Big time. Like an open E flat pit part. Yeah. The beginning, like thunderstorm over the drums, <sighs> is one of the most pitable moments in music. <laughs> yeah. What's the most pitable moment with the fewest instruments that isn't guitar? It's that. <laughs> like, it's that. Uh, with rain. Cold as life feedback. <laughs> I'll kill a man. You know? What's a sample? A sample that you'll kill someone to. Uh, there's something inside that, that they can't touch. Hope. You know Dude. that one? The Shawshank? Or, or, or fucking, uh, 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 you see, it's not the bunch of spells that get you yes. what you want. Dude. <laughs> Your community! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah there, p- people are dying for to that one, lad. That uh, would be a good segment. It couldn't do a whole episode, but like good samples. Best samples. And like where they came from kind of thing. Yeah. Because that one is a weird one. We didn't talk it to is. Jamie about that, but that's from like a Marine, like an obscure ass movie. Yeah. And now they're like not on the record. Oh, really? I don't think they're on digital, which is fucking crazy. That's whack. All right. So I said Ghost of War. What do you got? I've got. You sitting down? I know this is on yours. This might be I in am. your top five. Okay. Uh, Pro Mags. Apocalypse Now. So. Uh, I, I knew you were going to pick it. I picked a different Chromax part, but explain. <laughs> For those of you just listening, Colin has just been shaking his head. <laughs> I'm just, I can't. Where do I begin with this thing? Um, the, dude. It, I heard this song. Yeah. At, like I had already described, established myself as a major quarrel fan, you know? Of course. And my old heads are going, don't worry about the other records. Yeah. And then there comes a day where you go, what if they're good? And you boy them. And you spin them. <laughs> and you get to this fucking song. Okay. Before you describe this, too. Yeah. The whole, what is it, song five or six? Yeah. It's almost like every song is a build up to this part. To this part. Like every song on the record is like, hold on. Just wait for Apocalypse we, Now. I swear, we got, we got something for you. There are big pits, and there's there's it's a hard record. Mm-hmm. The lyrics are sick. Even the wacky Christmas stuff is like somehow nice and relatable. I'm you know? I'm I am Krishna when I listen to this right. Uh, straight up, dude. I, I, uh, like Kali Yuga, <laughs> heaven is on earth. It's not. There is no hell. There's no heaven. I'm yeah. I'm with you. I got it. Um, uh, Apocalypse Now is once the song hits, even that. Is like a three or four minute build to this part with with like one of the greatest build ups in music. All the random cymbal hits and shit, and like where yeah. everything comes in. Yeah, all hits with this fucking part with the best oh of all time. And then the dude, the accents inside the pit part, cannons and like there's like little China hits. I and know, shit. and like building oh. up on them, dude. And then let's go, and that's just one. That's okay. That's pit to pit. That's a triple, dude. That's a quad. They go mosh three. That's a quad. Yeah, you're right. That's that's mosh four. It's slow. Then let's go, Dan and again, and then yeah. the the like kind of Metallica did it and did it and did halftime, and then they pick you right. That's four. Apocalypse now goes Mosh four. Jay, if you're listening, if you're listening, we found one. Holy shit! Incredible. 
Uh, wow. Apocalypse there's a now, video. Life I talked about this the, uh, the other week where there's a video of um, the dude who played guitar on this falling onto his amp, and it's on my Instagram. Yeah, that's incredible. It's also, this part is on my Instagram too. Harley is, he's like long hair Harley in a leather vest with nothing on underneath and oh. like black jeans. And during the let's go part, he's like running across the stage. Oh. It's, dude, it's fucking awesome. It's incredible. Um, I'm going to keep What's it hardcore. Now? Keep it, keep it, keep Should it. Should I in. say my Chromax pick? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So my Chromax pick is from Age of Quarrel. I knew you were going to say Apocalypse Now. And also Best Wishes has insane pit I had my honorable mention was on Best Wishes. Was it Age of or was Age of Quarrel? Unbelievable. Insane. Um, mine is It's the Limit. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, it's a perfect hardcore it's song. It's a perfect yeah. hardcore song. Yeah. I'm with you. It's just, just the I don't want to say. I don't want to say. Yeah. I don't know. I like I. I gotta so listen it, to Age Coral. I'm. I, I. It's been years. The thing that's fucked up about this is like, where did that come from? Yeah. Like where Bad did land and now and then land and land and land and land. I know. And now that's just like the the crossover scale. Exactly. And it's been shitted on to death. We got. We uh, should talk to Paris about that one. Yeah. Where, how'd you get that? <laughs> where did that come that? from? A new segment called "How the fuck did you write that?" You know, um, there's that um. It's what it's called the beat the movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. where they play that where they're in times, it, yeah. right? During yeah. the the pit part for it's the limit that I don't want to see Richie underdog does a huge stage dive, Gangster. one of the coolest looking stage dives gangster. ever. He's very visible. He he does like a, a jump and he's it's a also, literal gangster. It, if dude, and it's also rumored that Pete Steele is in the crowd. Love it. I wouldn't doubt it. He's in Oz. Where isn't he? You know? <laughs> where isn't that guy? Um. So your Chrome X pick is it's the it's limit. limit. Great All, pick, dude. Also, uh, honorable mention to American Nightmares cover of it, that is like actually awesome. Interesting pick. It's great. It's just Josh. You hear that, Josh? You hear what he said? It's it's amazing, Josh. Please, <laughs> please forgive me, dude. I found the picture, by the way, of me punishing Wes on stage. Good. Yeah. I want it. Send it to me. <laughs> Uh, my next pick, we're going to switch over to, to Grind World real quick. Mm. Who, Grindcore, and this is some this is a discussion we'll have in my top five. Okay. I would say the best breakdowns ever written are, are not written by hardcore bands. There has been a, a serious lack of, like, death metal. Oh, well, I'm sure Fetus is in your top oh. five. Yeah. Okay. Everything's coming. Okay, okay. gotcha. But right now... Yeah, yeah. Band called Brutal Truth. Oh. One of the great, one of the greatest grindcore bands ever. The song is called Time. And it's you've heard as every band you like has ripped this off. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. Um it starts with this like dun 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 dun. dun like a crazy blast. Mm -hmm. And you don't know where it's going. And then it just slows down into this insane fucking buildup. Mm. Hits, hits again. It goes into the verse that's hard as shit, hits again, mm. and then it goes pit to pit with this other fucking insane riff where, like, the drums come in and, like, off time. Uh, this is one of the hardest songs ever written. Brutal Truth, Time. Check it out on the hard lore. Dude, uh, uh, while Pitch you're describing playlist. this, I realized our playlist is going to be the best playlist of all time. This is the greatest playlist ever <laughs> ever, made. ever assembled. Ever assembled. Okay. I'm staying hardcore. For a bit. Stay. Stay. And these are going to be the lulls for some of you guys who didn't get into hardcore through punk rock. Okay. So I'm just saying, you got you got to understand the context of so, some of these. So things. me. So you. <laughs> it's going to be a lull. You got to understand, me. but I'm going to get you with this. I'll hook you. Okay. It's a little I got song, a couple of those. A little song called "We Just Might" by Youth of Today. Okay. Describe it. The breakdown is: the lyrics are, "You say you want to fucking fight, we just might." And it's about beating up non-edgemen at oh. shows. That's the whole song. Love it. We just might. That's all I care about. So 
it, and it's like a wait. Just, okay. you know, yeah. it's like the you through thing. I mean, that is, that's a pit. That's a break. It's down. a pit. It's on it Can't is. Close My Eyes, which is like a borderline power violence record. Nice. There's an argument to be made with like how fast those songs are and like mm. his vocals sound fucking insane and blah, blah, blah. Nice. They later re-recorded the song on Break Down the Walls and named it Time to Forgive, which is a major bummer. Mm. Because it's not time to forgive. Because <laughs> it's never time to forgive. It's time to kill. It, it, we just might use it today. It's gonna. You're gonna go from brutal truth to to we just might, and a listener might be like, "What the fuck?" You gotta remember the context of when this came out. So, eighty six, I think. In the same conversation. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the. I'm gonna keep it simple. Yeah, good. Good. And like the proto breakdown. Yeah. Conversation breakdown. Oh. Kickback, dude. Excellent pick. This is like. One an early iteration of what a breakdown could be. Yes. Listen to the listen to the eighty seven demo. I will say they only got harder and and for sure wrote better mosh parts than this. Mm-hmm. My honorable mention was a song called Exposed. Oh, you familiar with the song? I don't know if I am. I think it's on plus minus. Okay. It is like an actual insane spin kick breakdown <laughs> in this breakdown song. It's insane, uh, but I went with kickback just because it's a it is a history lesson. Oh, and I, dude, and I want people listening to this playlist. That's what we're to calling get it. to get the history lesson. It's a history lesson from Breakdown Kickback. I got a couple of history lessons. Okay, so I would say that that Chromax part is is a history lesson. Absolutely, the You Today song is a history lesson, Absolutely. and I think I got one more. Maybe okay. we just knock it out. One more what? History One more lesson? history lesson. I can do that, too. One more very obvious history lesson. Hit me with it. It's a song called The Only Way by Ten Yard Fight. Okay. Okay. Now, the ending lyric... So this is an example of the, the breakdown is the intro. It's the same, uh-huh. like, what we were talking about. The ending lyric is, As long as there's blood in, in my body, my blood, blood, will run pure through mm-hmm. these veins because the only Fact. way is a straight edge. Facts. I can't see an excuse when my eyes are always clear. I mean, come on. I, I listened to all these songs today and I got like chills. So I know it still like matters to me. No, dude, I literally did the you same know? thing. Yeah, and yeah. it's, it's, I, I think most of this list is objective. Like <laughs> some are personal, but for the most part, I, I was trying, I was like measuring how I, they made me feel. And that's how I got my top five. Was exactly. Measuring dude, exactly. How they made me feel. Yes. Very good. Um, so, so the only way by Tenured Fight. Tenured Fight is not a band that I think most people today would like care about. But right. they were they when I looked up on LimeWire, Straight Edge, they have a song called "Proud to Be Straight." It's all about being right. straight edge. And so it was like a very quick like, oh, I like this band. Sure. And this song, whoo, buddy. My my last history, history lesson. lesson. Yeah. I guess I have a couple more, but this is the big one. Bad Brains. Oh. Right Brigade. That's a proto breakdown. Because they build it in the beginning, do yeah. the whole song, yeah. build it at the end, and they fucking give it to you as if any, w- the same way any modern hardcore band would do. We listened to Rock for when Light. This w- the there was no context for this. Yeah. We listened to Rock for Light in Louisville the other day. We did. And how good, this was the best time ever. Dude, I, I think, and I will quote you as saying, if you skip the reggae songs on Rock for Light, I'll fucking kill you. Kill you, dude. <laughs> I and I will never we'll try, try and listen, no, no not high. And what did y'all show them? Dude. I and I, wait, let me get the megaphone. <laughs> yeah, I, I and I survive. <laughs> Always a risk because the one time we did that and my entire board died. Well, we'll see. But worth it for the bit. Um, we'll see today. Excellent choice. Thank you. Bad Brains are, I would say, the 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 foundation layers for a lot of like punk pits. They're, they're like, another huge domino for huge, yeah, huge, what excellent. a punk hardcore band could be, what a mosh part could be, what a, what a song can be, what an album can be. Go ahead and watch... Bad Brains, CBGB's 1982. I have it on DVD. I have it because it's so good that I bought it. You Amazing. know what I mean? Incredible. All right. We are, man, we're teaching the use with this one, huh? Well, I'm going to 
I'm going to pay homage. Pay your homage. To some friends. Some, like, <laughs> some uh, providers of the show. A little song called Sick by Slipknot. Oh. What's Out. the pit in, sli- in Sick? You can kill me because I'm all right. right. Yeah. And then the but the yeah. Jun, 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 jun. yeah yeah unbelievable part. It's so funny to go bad brains to Slipknot. I know, I know, I in know. like a measurable p- pipeline. You know? Yeah, dude, it, absolutely. <laughs> it is truly like cause and effect. Yeah, bad brain um, right brigade to for whom the bell tolls to six Slipknot is like a measurable. <laughs> it's thing. like we could prove it, and this show is proof of that. We'll yeah. we'll get there. Um, it opens the record. One of the most aggressive openers of all time. For an album that sold, for that, like, is still, if you look at the iTunes, like, metal chart. Yeah, it's on Right now. Always. Slipknot Self-Titled is for sure on there right now with, like, Black Album and Cowboys from Hell. Yeah. yeah. Like, wait and the opener is this hard. This, dude. They did the same thing with Iowa, too. Iowa is even even more extreme. Yeah. Class beats on the radio. Unbelievable. But sick. No matter how you feel, you got to give it to him. Sick is incredible. An incredible song. All the way good, through. Good pick. I respect Thank that pick. Thank you. My favorite band in seventh grade. Um, here we go. You said you omitted them, so I'm going to put them in for you. Okay. Bolt thrower. Powder. Powder fucking burns, burns baby. A pain that never goes away. <laughs> Onwards, and, and you know, no compromise. You know that the, it's going to be a big song in the album because they use the intro, the sound the, the intro. intro, which is dude, the coolest thing. They're the like, coolest. hey, this is the hit, <laughs> uh, and then this big triumphant intro that again builds to this rare moment. Yeah, you know? like a a two note and, breakdown and for they know you know and it's hits like a fucking 18 wheeler dude 19 and then, he, and then he hits you with a fucking <laughs> and it's just like holy shit yeah. uh this is this is their hardest single part i would say dude but for those of you who don't know who aren't into bolt thrower Every record, they use this one intro that kind of fades in, and you mm. never really know what's going to come. Like, and if you were listening six, to the record. Oh, 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 tremolo, oh. Sometimes they bookend the song with it. Yep. And it's like, oh, fuck, it's back. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and if you were listening to a record for the first time, you never really know what's coming. You never know when it's going to It could be a re recording, it could, but it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? G- they're fucking genius. You know? Yeah, they're, they're. I mean, they're pound for pound <clears throat> the best band. Yeah, <laughs> because they never wrote a bad thing. That's, that's how that works. You know, that's how it works. Um, zero skips. That that many records, zero skips. There, it like that's crazy. If you did, if you did like a statistical pie chart, it's tough to beat Bolt Thrower. Just song, song for song. Wow. Uh, yeah. What's your next one? We're 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 going to Sweet Home Chicago. My little band called The Killer. Oh, hit me, dude. This is a deep cut. This is on their okay. first EP. It's a song called American Flag Coffin. Is this it, the song from Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this you song mean. is so fucking hard. 15 year old Bo or whatever, however old were you, you were, mm. super manned into the pit, <laughs> spinning like a tornado, only to get fucking Clock. drywalled by Joe Harcourt. <laughs> Cemented um, by Joe Harcourt. Amazing. It's a cool song. It's on like the killer's first thing, um, but it has like a great um, halftime to full time part that's just. They're good at that. Fucking awesome. No shortage of incredible pit parts in The Killer. My the Killer's favorite. amazing. Yeah, but please. Please. My favorite of The Killer pit is God Forgot. Ooh, that's a good pick. I will never forget. They played that Arlington Heights show yeah. on my birthday, September 21st, 2013. They, pl- I think they play- opened with that or something. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's a Chicago song. 
Right. I don't know if all, all those who wanted or lost are like one that that Chicago they wanted to hear Welcome to Chicago. Yeah, you it know? took a minute. It took a minute. Yeah. God forgot. Didn't forget Colin. <laughs> Van Nuys didn't forget. Van Nuys in in their hometown whooping fucking ass to that song. Dude, um, um, I love that song. Remus's drumming is so fucking cool. He he m- made I mean there's Chris Mills. What would Chris Mills be without? Dude, me? I mean and I'm sure he would say that. One, he said it. I mean, yeah, he said it yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah. Remus I, 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 The drummer for the killer is f- so fucking good. He's I've a guy. never I, I swear to God, I'm not just putting him over because it's like they're like my hometown hero band. He has such like swag and like style with how he plays with like ghost notes and shit that yeah. are like, I don't even know if he's really thinking about it on that level. It, it just like kind of happens. No, I mean, if you listen to the beginning of God Forgot Alone, mm-hmm. how cool that little and how solidly he plays it for like two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh you can't do that. That's that's a swag injection that is yeah. is uh God given. Yeah. In Dodgers. God didn't forget Remus with no. the swag. Uh my next pick. Yeah. Bowen. Yes, sir. From Syracuse, New York. Oh. Uh the greatest straight edge man of all time. On a later record. Oh, uh, you you went with it. Yeah. Earth Crisis. Ultra Militants. Now this war, dude. The, and then, would, and this, but, this is another impressive thing. Edge. I wish what? it was about straight edge. <laughs> it's a vegan yeah. song. I don't and, care. And we're on the other side, bro. Yeah, but I, I, I dined in at McDonald's today <laughs> listening to this song. <laughs> that's, that's straight up like. <laughs> Dude, what you your unemployed in. friend on a Tuesday be oh, like dining yeah. in at yeah. McDonald's yeah. by a la carte by myself, uh, <laughs> listening to ultra militants, <laughs> having the best time, sucking down a big old diet coke, crispy as ever, eating a, tr- a triple chi mm. to ultra militants. I'm so sorry, Carl. So I'll never eat beef again. <laughs> uh <clears throat> this song, the pit happens. Yeah. A bunch in the yeah. song. You hear the riff, but they manage to make it harder with the way that they transition into it. Yeah. Which they're good at that. Is it's Earth, Earth it's Rise is not, very good at that. They are very good at yeah. that, and it's not easy to do. And this was a tough pick because Destroy the Machines has a lot of the best riffs ever. <laughs> like most a lot of the good riffs in the world are on Destroy the Machines. <laughs> um so it's kind of an unfair bag to pull from. But ultra militants in a vacuum as a breakdown. Ah, the way they build it, the 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 big sing along, the yeah. into it. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. The big is, dramatic pause where you don't know is that when breed it's coming. the killers. It's breed the killers. That's the record, right? His yes. vocals on that record are crazy. <laughs> he sounds like a, crazy. a pterodactyl for real. That's like live Carl, yeah. recording for the first time. It's like that's what his voice settled into, and now we hear it on record. Uh, Breathe the Killer is awesome. Ultra Militants. Incredible. The best yeah. Earth Crisis Breakdown. My Earth Crisis Breakdown is Gamora Season 10. I get it, man. It's just... It, I, the, you're yelling, I am straight edge over da-da-dun, 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 <laughs> yeah, da-da-dun, yeah, exactly. Da-da-dun, that's da-da-dun. all you need to know. And yeah. now live, when like we saw them, and I know they've done it a bunch, but like they like... Stop. Stop and just... So the crowd's doing it, and oh, brother! Yeah, I was. I that made me like that gave me full on goose pimples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I was old. I was bumped up. Um, Feeling good. All right, my next one. Yes. And again, this might be a little obvious, sure. but it was the one that made me an all-out war fan. Oh, resist. We're gonna have to wait to talk about this one. Okay, <laughs> we can we can move on. All right, let me bump, go to my next one then. Yeah, please. Integrity. Judgment Day. Oh, yeah. They do the thing where the intro is the breakdown. Intro is the breakdown. But on the one version that I put on the, the playlist, there's the dive bomb over it, and it's just so we, fucking we. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Good, good pick. I, I, was, I was, like, trying to put an integrity song on the list and, like, mm-hmm. couldn't choose one, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't have a preference, almost. But my preference is all of them. 
<laughs> in a way where I couldn't oh, I couldn't be like, oh, this is the best one. You my know? next one has that. I'm going to let you say yours, but I know exactly okay. what you mean. Okay. Um, my next pick, band called Carnivore. I was, okay. Okay, let me hear. So this is this is a big influence on me in terms of writing a breakdown without ever hitting a symbol. Sex and violence. Oh, wow. The whole end part is just Tom's snare. Dun, 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 tuk, 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 yeah, tuk, tuk, tuk. Uh, hard-ass riff, hard-ass lyrics, insane uh, <laughs> mosh call into yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, you know, controversial, maybe. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but this was one of the, I was like, okay, I need to find to find a way to, like, replicate this. In a way, and like, dude, twitching does do that. Sex and violence, yeah, is there's a lot of World War Five in, in sex. You, and yeah, violence. you just connected a dot a bit for me. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of of a Pete Steele representation to put on here, and I couldn't really think of one. Inner conflict, great one. Well, no, even no, like no, Race no, War no, has no. the. Dun, 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 there's ton, there's <laughs> pits in every song. Every Angry song. and Rod of Catholics, dude. Dun, 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 every song. Dun, 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 dun. Suck my dick. I, I had my pick of the litter with this yeah, one, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then even Slow Deep and Hard Songs, and then infamously, like, Wolf Moon has, like, kind of pits. has a pit part. A there's, little, there's little breakdowns yeah, in their own bit. ways. Um, um, the Sex right, and is my, my carnivore song. Yeah. That's a great pick. Hit me. Madball. I've already said Can't Stop, Won't Stop is like the So I, I decided let's pick something but, else. But Breakdown? Breakdown, for me, New York City. New York City is the best. I'm with you, brother. Dude, I'm not even going to pick an honorable stomach. mention. I'm just going to back you up. Dude. Oh, well, uh, what was what was your other one? I want to hear. No, I'm not going to pick an honorable mention because, oh, yeah, because this was my pick. What can I get down? This is a top 10 all time. Un pit part. I'm, I, we have never talked about this song, and the fact that we agree on this part is huge. This Hi, this is like Hi. this hearing this might have been the re like I I liked Madball in a peripheral way you know it was like okay they're a classic band yeah I I got I'm supposed to get into them this is me as a 13 14 year old New York City was the song where I was like yeah like yeah okay I get yeah it. this is a hundred percent they were yeah. right you know the people were right Live um, here. you gotta learn gotta learn Un you gotta fight back dude. And That's they, like, somebody. didn't play this my entire t childhood, teenage, adult life. They, like, just brought started bringing it back. Really? Yeah, it was. They never fucking played it when I saw them. And I'm, I maybe it's because they weren't in New York when I saw them, you know? <laughs> oh. But I, uh, they, they didn't play Set It Off one time. I think they were, like, averse to Set It Off in some way. Yeah. I and mean, it's how annoying like, is that? It's annoying. It, it is, but... But also, you wrote you wrote the Mona Lisa. What are you gonna do? Yeah, right. Not paint it again. You got it. <laughs> Keep painting it. Yeah, Madball, New York City, off of Great Set pick. It Off, an Great incredible pick. song. I I shan't pick an honorable mention. I will just back you up. Okay, hit me. So, for the sake of the playlist, I kind of changed my pick here because I noticed that Biohazard self titled is not on Spotify. Oh. Which, well, dude, uh, set it off isn't on Apple Music. What? Yeah, it, you have to go into the best of, and it doesn't have every song. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, I picked Retribution at first. But I changed it to Urban Discipline for the sake of the playlist. Dude. Because one of the best intros ever. And we were just talking about this, too. Talking about this, the lyrics. The li I Do you think, did Evan Wright... Brooklyn Bronx, I think so. Staten Island in Queens. You know, like figuring that out must have felt like, Holy like shit. figuring out the universe or something. Yeah. Like I, I, I he he flowed the burrows. Standing up and fighting is what's living here. And but this dude, in order, um, what is it? The only lessons that you learn are the things that you regret. Is if is like that's like poetic. That is some that's Socratic like, ass. Yeah, yeah, thinking. yeah. yeah. Wow. Crazy. Like Ooh, beautiful. Number one. Dude, come on. Fuck it. 
Yeah, great Urban Discipline. For the, for the sake of the playlist, I'm going to pick Urban Discipline. It. The real answer is Retribution. I love it. Just because in, in terms of a breakdown on its own, that's... Dun, 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 But Urban Discipline, perfect intro, and then the song just kind of keeps getting harder and harder, and the lyrics are incredible. The lyrics are incredible. Hard motherfucker with a bad attitude. Maybe oh, it's yeah. just... <laughs> Maybe it's just... Awesome. We're, we're winding down now. We're getting close to the end. Yeah, yeah. This is exciting. I'm having, by the exciting. way... I'm having a great time. Oh, this is like the most fun I've <laughs> the had. The most fun I've had. During an episode, yeah. It's so easy to be passionate about it. All right. Mm-hmm. I wanted to throw some respect on some peers of ours. Throw it. Foundation. Oh. Purple Heart. What's the Purple Heart breakdown? Who will for me? march for oh. heart? Dude, I, every time clear. I would see them play that, that would be in my head mm. for days at a time. And if you're on yeah, tour, that's a, them, that's a great part. That can be problematic. Um, I love that part. I love the dissonant chord. I love when they let the, the chord, jun, 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 jun. like, it's just a cool part. It, it like always popped off. I, there were a yeah. lot of, from the user submissions, there were a lot of, uh, like devotion twos. Devotion, like there were a lot yeah. of, a lot of, but this was the one for me. I liked when Hank would do backup vocals. Oh, I love the Hank backup. I think that last EP were, are like undeniably their best songs. Mm. When Lo- I love when Harm's Way played their last show, we made a Youth of Today Harm's Way like with the the X fist, uh-huh. and on the back, it says "We will march forward." Goddamn right you will. Excel. Little, little hard lore. Three out of five, you will. Shut the right. fuck up. <laughs> uh, I, I you know people have been waiting for this one. My next pick is oh. Dying Fetus. Yeah. Epidemic of hate. Yeah, that was the one you told me to listen to. <laughs> Epidemic of Hate is, again, one of the great intros of our time. Mm. I can't stop stealing it. <laughs> I won't stop stealing it. Uh, big, epic drum fill into this insane part. Uh, very simple riff played mm-hmm. by geniuses. Therefore, mm-hmm. it's genius. Mm-hmm. Dying Fetus, great pick. Dying Fetus Thank is a you. band that I'm I'm entering... I'm just learning about. Them. I'm I'm men, I'm your dying yeah. fetus old head, and I'm so proud to be. Welcome. All right, mine a band that was very um, influential to the Killer. Okay, the Killer old head. Think about that. I'm listening. Damnation AD. Ooh, the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man over. Yeah, I mean, most people would say No More Dreams, probably. Yeah, huh? but when let me tell you something. When the Killer covered the Hanged Man. Uh huh. They had Mike DC sing for it because that's mm. their favorite fucking song. My yeah. Because that breakdown, the gun, 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 yeah. gun, gun. I mean, it's a seven minute build up to this release. Yeah. You know what I like? <clears throat> and I don't care what the people say. It's not. The song with the fucking Fall Out Boy guy on it on the other LP. If you can remember. Patrick? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Song rocks, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember if there's a pit in there, but the song is incredible. Damnation AD, underrated band. Very underrated band. I don't Very think underrated. people really like realize now. Yeah, now our 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 era, our, yeah, B nine yeah. board era. We were taught very explicitly yeah. to listen to listen to Damnation. Damnation AD and like Earth Mover. It was like oh, never okay. heard Earth Mover. No, really. They were that must have been a, a, a Midwest <laughs> thing. Well, they were from the same area as Damnation. There you so go. They, was, they were often mentioned in the same. I was making a Midwest joke because you said you're Great Lakes, you know. And they're from Detroit, too. <laughs> also. also <laughs> there you go. Double <laughs> joke, unintentional. <laughs> the joke land. Genius. Yep. What do you got? Um, my next pick, controvers- two controversial picks in a row. Mm. You ready? Yeah. One Life Crew. Murdario Stomp. Really? You just for the intro alone? I mean, I'll go riots, easy pick, but like, think about this, dude. Yes, sir. The year is 2007 to 2013. Mm-hmm. Murdario, <laughs> a band, yeah, uh, you- a band per show covers Mar- Murdario Stomp, including my own, including your own. Yeah. And it's the best part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's iconic. <clears throat> I have um I've listened to Crime Ridden Society. Is it on Crime Ridden Society? It's track that, one. 
It's track one. I'm just making sure I didn't know if it was yeah. on like an EP or something. Oh, it's on American Justice 2 about five times, <laughs> which is insane. The original version on Crime Rain Society is crazy. It's a great riff. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my next one are more peers, friends of the show. Truly one of my favorite breakdowns of all time, like put almost top five. Acacia Strain, The Hills Have Eyes. Wow. Every fucking time, this is this is like the foundation song. Every fucking time I've seen them play it, uh huh. And the the it's just in your mind, baked in your mind, dude. And the recording has like a metal hit, like Davidian, like it, mm. it's got like a sound, um, like a sample in there. And it's is this just, the video where they're like playing live? It, the in video a club? is them being like to catch a predator. Oh, <clears throat> what's the video? <laughs> Where if they're listening, maybe they can let me know. There's a music video where they're like playing a show and then they hit this solo and then a guy in the crowd does this and they like zoom in on it dramatically from behind. (laughs) (laughs) And it's really, it's like so funny. Uh, And it was a nice touch. That band has always been funny. And they, I think they relish in that, you know, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, it's just a gun, 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 gun. Gun, 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 you know, and it's classic. Got the, and the way Kevin does like a cool fill, it's just like an awesome part. All right. I didn't want to only do like old bands, you know what I mean? No, like, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I couldn't, I just picked what I picked. And the there's a couple modern things on here, but what do you got next? Oh, another I got, controversial dude, my pick. My next one you're going to fucking love. Am I? Another controversial pick. Um, Agnostic Front. <laughs> Public assistant. <laughs> written I'm by sorry. written by late, Pete Steele. Oh, there's there's his representation. I there's guess. his representation. Yeah. Written by Pete Steele, you know, tongue in cheek, as it as it always is for with him. But this is just like one of those fucking this is this is a um a teachable riff, you know. This is a, this is educational. Mm. <laughs> This is like the thing that every crossover band is trying to do. Absolutely. Not, and they it's already been done, you know? Uh, That's a good pick. When when Agnostic Front played all of that. Oh, my God. They played all of that record at United Blood. And the that, live at CB's? No, no, and no. That no, was no probably they the, all, uh, what, no, they what, did live at CB's start, start to finish, didn't they? I thought they did all of, um, is it Victim in Pain? Cause for, that's on Cause for it's Alarm. It's Cause for Alarm. I thought they did all of Cause for Alarm. No, they did live at CB starts finish. Oh wow. It was amazing. <laughs> that was one of the best things I've ever that was the best United Blood set to me that gotcha. I ever witnessed. Gotcha. I think maybe the fact that like there weren't like it wasn't that packed when they played. Because mm-hmm. a lot of some of the remember. younger kids spilled out that it was just fu- like elite it was amongst an elite organization, like the, much like the men in black. <laughs> I was mosh it was me and the rest of the men in black. <laughs> Moshing for Agnostic Front and playing live at CBS. I uh, I think my favorite United Blood would be the the Chromag year, the Chromag Army year. That was, yeah, that, that was, was a crazy year. I don't um, think I was there. I wasn't invited until far later. Yeah, with United Blood, I was late to United Blood. All right, here's the one you're gonna love. Ramallah. Oh, the song, Ramallah. Wow, what's the pit in Ramallah? With Bannon just screeching over the whole <laughs> thing. The, that real entombed Ram- the, Ramallah part. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Uh, and a little song called Breeding Ground. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, unbelievable part. Incredible song. But no the, shortage of Ramallah pits, really. Dude. Could have been a million on here. I listened to that today at at the gym again, (laughs) and like, I was like, "Holy fuck, this part is awesome!" Is this the end, (laughs) beautiful (laughs) friend, (laughs) my friend? One of the greatest frontmen of all time, inevitable guest on the show, Mm. I would say, right? Yeah, my trash Rob. Can't wait to talk to him someday. All right, we're getting down to the fucking wire here. I got one, two, three, four. Five left. I got three. Okay. With a couple uh, honorable mentions for each. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hit me. Why don't Wait, you go next? Because you have more. Because I got more. This one, I 
could see being, or at least the band being in your top five. Life of Agony, mm-hmm. River Runs Red. Really? River Runs the, Red? The, the pit, pit part in that for me, when I when I like really first heard it, mm. and it's it's not the 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 kick drum part where he's playing on the eight. It's, it's when Mina comes in and it's low. It's on the one. And I knew they'd come a day. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's up there. Singing pretty over that part. Like gorgeous, soaring. <laughs> yeah, like, like that, that part for me was that. I mean, that was what made me mm, a Life a of fan. Agony fan. My sure. picks for Life of Agony pit would be Plexiglass Gate mm-hmm. intro. Or the stain remains. Set me free. That's uh that like that was one where I couldn't believe that they were even though they were playing the whole record, I couldn't believe they played that. Yeah, right, right. They're doing this one. Yeah, and that's something I ever expected to hear a lot. Yeah. Um my Next one. Mm-hmm. A band that pound for pound wrote many of the hardest ah, shit. pit parts of all time. I think I know who it is, and I didn't put them on my list. Pantera. No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Suicide Note Part 2. Unbelievable. And it's, again... Made harder with the context of part one attached to it. Oh yeah, big time. That's a great example of the I'll transition. Never to, in, enhances the 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 full picture. You I'll know? never listen to two without one. Never. Dude. You got one start. is like their best song. Yeah, it's like a p- beautiful, beautiful <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah, part two is this, and then it's just this fucking insane crescendo. To the biggest ending they they've ever they did ever in a song, wrote, yeah, yeah, and they they knew it was one of those things. And the Josta episode shows us mm. that they were listening to Helmet and shit, who were writing songs from a hardcore perspective. Ah. So Pantera was maybe unknowingly writing songs from a hardcore perspective. Very well said. So Suicide Note two ending with dun 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 dun, yeah, wah, 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 yeah. bum 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 bum, wah, is. Consciously or not, done in a hardcore perspective, and it feels that way, and it is one of the most spin kickable moments in the history of music. And dude, that song also has the "Watch me do it, do it." Watch me try to die. And then, right back into that verse, insane, <laughs> crazy tempo pickup, amazing. amazing. Yeah. Here's one. You oh. got it. You got Pantera on there. You got any honorable mentions top five. for me? That's top five. Uh, honorable mm-hmm. mention, Strike Beyond Strike. <laughs> Such a cool <laughs> part. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Not a band with no shortage of pit parts. No, let's do. Let's do. Uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of Pantera honorable mentions because there's so many. And uh, I think a lot of people who are listening to this are not. And if you hear yours, just don't say anything. Okay, but uh, let oh, me say, say, walk is an interesting one. Walk I, doesn't I really have the, a pit part. No. Until the very, very end. I think walk is like the worst. I know, song. I know. But I'm saying for their biggest song. Yeah. The whole song is kind of a pit part because the riff is awesome. Sure. But then the end, the... No, no, you're not wrong. I love um in chronological order. (laughs) Wait, Uh, yeah, you're gonna say mine. That's fine. If I'll I'll just I'll just give it. Primal concrete sledge, insane pit. Whole song. Domination, insane pit. Mm -hmm. Uh going to vulgar display of power. New level, obviously insane pit. Uh this love. This love. Insane pit. (gasps) Going to Far Beyond Driven, Strength Beyond Straight, Insane Pit, Next Song, Insane Pit, Next Song, Insane Pit, Next Song, Insane Pit. What are the first four? Strength Beyond Strength, Becoming, <laughs> Five Minutes Alone, I'm Broken. I'm broken. Gink, 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 gink. But Throws of Rejection yeah. might be the hardest song on the record. Ooh, interesting. 
I think. Let me. That's dun 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 dun. Bow, bow, yeah. Bow, bow. Oh, boom. Eek. Bow. Yeah. Great Southern Trend Kill. Uh, Great Southern Trend Kill. The big riff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll speak into that. You can't stop me. Down, down, and then the uh, key change. Suicide Note Two. Floods, dude. Dude, bow, floods. Bow, bow, bow. I don't know much yeah. from reinventing the steel. Uh, I mean, yesterday don't mean Revolution is my name is a fucking in, incredible song. Mm. That's another one with the, a riff at the end where you're like, this is on this. This is crazy. You. You know, that was, was our Pantera. While I was like getting cleaning and you were napping and I was like waiting for you, I uh-huh. I had I got the first down record. Now it's just playing that. Ooh. That's like truly a best of both worlds that has not been yeah done really since other than like Ice Pick, yeah, yeah, and King of Sorrow. You know? But it's but it's literally like the the vocalist from Pantera and yeah. the. Dude from and the best guitar player ever, the (laughs) best riff writer of all time. Although a lot of those songs, he's not. It doesn't say his name. Like my, the labels, it all they all say Anselmo. But brother, he's playing. Be like it'll be Keenan, you know. He's playing them. Yeah. And that and that like that's a swag that even if he ain't write it. Yeah. The performance, it's in the performance. You know. He's you know he saw some of them. Swagger. This one is the one that I couldn't. Find on Spotify. So you have to find it on YouTube if you care. Okay. It's very specific. You might laugh. First Blood <laughs> from the demo, Victim. No laughs here, man. Dude, with the fucking, the sample machine gun. First Blood. 2002? Brother, I like that, that, that demo era and first LP was like, as I was coming up in hardcore. Yeah, okay, okay. So, okay. like, seeing First Blood and, like, Hoods <clears throat> at the yeah. Cobalt. Yeah. Those were the scariest shows of my, of my life to this day. That demo. Palpable fear. Fear. <laughs> every time they played. was Is that the best demo? It's like an best, incredible like, demo. In the last, like, 25 years? 25 would include Terror. Okay, so no. No. I would. But, I mean, pick, they're I they're would, adjacent. Yeah, they're you know? adjacent, and I w- I would pick Terror over First Blood, but like really think about what we're saying. Yeah, you know? it's. I mean, it was so good that they just did those songs again, and again, it was a hit yeah. record. But but it didn't have so, the sample, so I want the no. sample. Yeah, specifically that version of that song. The whole yeah. demo is great, but that version of that song, the best China hit of all time. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's. Unbelievable. Uh, it's a good pick. I believe that was Dan Housen's pick as well. Oh, excellent. He well didn't done. send me a video, but that was that was what he was contemplating. Well done, Housen. I'll see him yeah. on Friday. And, but tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Maybe I will too. We'll see. Uh-huh. Uh here we go. We're getting real close here. I got I got two more. Okay. Me too. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Marauder. This isn't in your top five? No, and I'll get there. Don't worry. Master Killer. Oh, thank Christ you didn't pick mine. I know what you picked. Shut up. I know what you picked. It's okay. I bet you. But this is another example. The Master Killer breakdown is not a traditionally hard riff. The Very little palm muting. Yeah. Technical as fuck. Like, I showed this to a guy who just plays guitar and heard this and was like, it's a cool riff. (laughs) <laughs> like, like take it i take everything you know from it yeah. it's just a cool riff but in the context of the song with the fucking i am your master coming back into the solo this is one this is number seven on the breakdowns of all time to me wow i know what you picked and that's my honorable mention so i won't say it okay are you sure you don't want to pick hmm? we'll get there we'll get there we'll get and if there. it's not i'll say it but i know it is okay i okay. know for a fact it is um the video of Steven from Kickback singing that part. The you can run, you can hide, and then sob stage diving. And then during the went, Jorge is skanking. Yeah. Not moshing, skanking. Yeah. That real New York little spice in there. Pardon this interruption. It's Manscaped time. 
Let's let's talk about Manscaped, but what do you think? I I love Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> I got it all. The trimmer, the lawnmower, the, the reviver, lawn. the preserver. We've gone on and on about this stuff. My new love, in case you didn't catch it in the last episode, the foot duster. Oh yeah. My dogs are are April fresh. Absolutely. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. I've the body wearing, wash that you threw out is amazing. I the little want, scrubber that came with the body wash kit is awesome. See, I don't have the kit. I just I need the full kit. Yeah, now. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll talk. I love the way it smelled though. It made me feel very masculine. It's very you know? masculine without being like axe body no, spray. It's, it's just musky and satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the reviver, like I say every week, is my favorite product. You spray it on, you smell better. It's that simple. It's that simple. And I used it today after the gym <laughs> that I've talked about three times. Nice. So far. Good for you. And it's it's great stuff. Um, really happy that we're working with them because I actually use it and enjoy it. And can Me too. Like, people will kind of ask us outside of the show, like on the side and be like, so is it actually good? Or are you just going yeah. no, to? Like, no, anything I we talk it. about it, we, we talk about because we like it. I use it every day. We used it before we started working with them. That's right. So 20% off code HARDLORE, 20% off free shipping. It's also whatnot time, Bo. Let's talk about our first whatnot that just happened. I had a blast. It was so fun. It was so fun. If you missed it, uh, our whatnot shows are basically live versions of HARDLORE that disappear once they're over. So. Right. You got to be there. You got to be there. We're going to do them at the end of every month, like the around the last Friday of every month is probably yep. going to be the vibe. Um, so don't we miss had, our next one in April. We had like 250 people in there. 250 people in Hanging there out. chatting. It's it's like a live Q&A for two hours where you could just also happen to be able to buy whatever items we're talking about. If you want. So click the link below. You join. You get 15 bucks off your first purchase. Oh. We all, we're going to have some really cool stuff there in April. So stick around. Got a bunch we'll of stuff. We'll see you. We'll see you there. Um, you want to tell hey. them about the Discord, Bo? I want to talk about the Discord. So we are we have a Discord set up. The link is going to be below. Um, I will be in there probably more so than Colin. I'm gonna I don't know to what the there. fuck Discord is. He doesn't really answer. get it yet. But those of you who know... Know that it can be really fun. Um, if and when we start doing watch along stuff like we've talked about before, it's probably going to be through there just for ease of use and for you guys to be able to hang out. Um, you'll be able to submit questions, ideas, uh, videos, lore, whatever. Just hang out, meet other people, learn about new music, find out what's going on with the show. And um, what do we call it? This this lore? This lore? Hardcore? Nah, Hard, hardcore. I'm not sure, but for right now, it's the Hard Lord Discord. Uh, right. Link is in the description. Ludens, my main man, is going to be the main mod. He's got it all set up, ready to go. Everybody who joins is going to be friend of the show, officially. Amazing. Thank you so much, and get let's get back to the episode. So you said, Master Killer. Master Killer. All right. Would be would be right up there for me. It's not. It didn't crack top five. That's that I'm genuinely sure. I, I know it's about, but Master Killer is about the album for me. This is the full, complete Sonic experience. It is so much bigger than one single breakdown. But that's that that almost negates everything that we've talked about for the last I, hour and a half. I disagree. <laughs> okay. My next pick mm-hmm. is by Rise and Fall, who also they have quite a few. Wow. They have a lot of good songs. Curve a lot ball. of good hits. A lot of good parts. Bottom Feeder by Rise and Fall. It's on Hellmouth. Okay. First um, one, right? It's the first one. They had a different drummer. It's kind of not, and I say this with all due respect, it's kind of not performed the best, uh-huh. particularly with the drums. Sure. However, having seen them play it live a bunch, and just like... Hits hard. Dude, I mean, the the riff is... And it just hits. It's fucking awesome. It goes into like a two-step part. It's very heavy. It was also just like Rise and Fall for our circle of friends was like very important. They were just like a band that we all really liked. And Sound and Fury 2007. Mm -hmm. I brought enough money to specifically buy whatever Rise and Fall had. Excellent. That was my goal. Was like, okay, well, I don't care about anything else. Whatever Rise and Fall has, I'm buying. You were a Rise and Fool. Straight up, dude. 
Uh, you want to know something that I noticed about them today that I think is interesting? Their top songs on Apple Music in order, like the first three top songs, are the first three songs on their record in order. On, oh, really? On each so, record? Think about that. No, 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 no. So, like, if you go to Apple Music and look at Rise oh. and Fall, their most played song is the first song on Into Oblivion. The second song and is then the it's second two song and three. Two, one, two, and three, which, like, that. That tells you that is, is the sequencing one, yeah. and you know the songwriting like was there. It's important. Very good. Great. Good. Good. Good pick. Didn't expect that curveball. Real curveball. Little curveball. Yeah. Um, okay. What's your last this one? one come. Right? This one comes with an honorable mention. This is the last one before we do top before five. We do top five. Okay. Cold as life. Mm. From the Declination of Independence. Who holds? The truth. This is one of the scariest <laughs> buildups in in music, dude. And then it fucking comes in like a hammer, sounding insane because this record sounds insane. Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. So slow, so scary, so threatening. <laughs> Obviously, my honorable mention was Little from the World mm-hmm. because the whole song is a pit. Yeah. It defined an era of music. It is Still to this does. day like one of the most covered things ever. Mm-hmm. But to me, who holds the truth, that section when it finally comes in is the hardest breakdown that they ever wrote. Wow. Okay. I need to revisit. It's not on any streaming service. Oh, fine. Unfortunately. Yeah. So, so go to YouTube.com. <laughs> Cold as life. Who holds the truth? All right, my last one. Uh huh. Which again, I'm a late bloomer with this band because mm-hmm. I didn't come up through metal. But Lamb of God. Oh, now you've got something to die. Wow, for. dude. The full time, like the 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 regular tempo. I love. Before the slow, the the actual breakdown, like that right. little bit, is what gets my my jimmies jumbled. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what really gets me going. I love. I mean, that I've whole never record. been a big Lamb of God guy, but when I hear the tracks, yeah, I'm my I've always perk up. A yeah, little bit. yeah, drummer a couple, unreal. Couple fucking you know? tracks. Many tracks. I would say any track I've heard, I'm like, damn, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta get into this. Um, yeah, they rock. And that part specifically so, is great. And then the actual pit part, the slowdown. With I'll the listen weird, to it like, as, bell as soon as we wrap. Thing. What'd you say? I'll listen to it as soon as we wrap. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that is everything but our individual top fives. You know what would be great, Colin? If we could hear from some of our peers what they would pick. A- amazing point. Before we share our personal top five breakdowns of all time. Mm -hmm. We had some guests send in what they think are the best breakdowns of all time. Mm. So let's hear from some hard lore alumni and some other very special guests with their picks for the best breakdown of all time. This is Brendan from Turnstile and the best breakdown of all time is every bit of doubt, gut instinct. Hey, what's up? I'm Maddie Matheson and, uh, I believe the uh, best breakdown of all time is on the song Davidian by Machine Head. Show me one that's heavier before that. All right. This is Brody King from God's Hate, and I think that the greatest breakdown of all time is Destroy the Opposition by Dying Fetus and Confide in No One by Hatebreed. Yeah, I picked two. What are you going to do about it, Bo? This is Emma from Dying Wish, and the best breakdown of all time is Resist by All Out War. The greatest breakdown in punk rock and hardcore is the breakdown that started all breakdowns in the song Freedom by The Last Resort. Hello, this is Scott Vogel from Terror. Tough question, many runner-ups. I'll get right to the point. The hardest-hitting breakdown is, in my opinion, Madball, New York City. Hi, this is uh, Andy Williams from Music and um, The Butcher from uh, Wrestling. The greatest breakdown of all time is Davidian by Machine Head. It's it's perfect. That's it. Hi, I'm Arthur Rizik, 
And the best breakdown of all time is a song called Apocalypse Now by the band Cro-Mags. Reason being, it is like the Lord of the Rings trilogy in a breakdown. This is Anthony Anzaldo from Ronert Park, California. I'm of the belief that the greatest breakdown of all time lives within the tune Nights on Broadway by the Bee Gees. This is Brittany from Pity Sex and the best breakdown of all time is The Seven Star by Seven Star. This is Jeremy from Touche Amore and the best breakdown of all time is Unbroken Absentee Debate. It's half the song and the lyrics are, I don't care. Hey, this is Bruce LePage, and in my opinion, the greatest breakdown of all time is Murdario Stomp by One Life Crew. Hey, this is Colin's brother, and the best breakdown is Crowbar to carry the load. Yo, this is Dan from King Nine. I'm here to tell you that the best breakdown of all time is Dead Embryonic Cells by Sepultura, with Davidian by Machine Head as a close runner-up. This is Will Kalen from Never Ending Game and Gridiron. And the best breakdown of all time is In the Trenches by Dying Fetus. Pit to pit to pit. Hi, this is Anthony from the band God's Hate. My favorite breakdown is I Rate CPR. Um, How much are you paying me again for this? Hey, this is Gian from King Nine. The best breakdown of all time is D Tears of Blood by Biohazard. This is Jess from World of Pleasure. And the best breakdown of all time is probably in a photograph by Suicide Silence. What's up? It's Martine from Terror, God's Hate, Zabalba, a bunch of others. Uh, one of my favorite breakdowns of all time is from the 7-inch right here, Throwdown, Songs DK. Yo, what's going on? It's Michael from Pain of Truth. It's the best breakdown of all time. Behold Our Justice by Hatebreed. Check it out. What's up? This is Sam from Triple B, and the best breakdown ever written is by Never Ending Game, a song called Hey Today, Die Tomorrow, dropping on the new LP, May 12th. Hey, this is Sam from Trapped Under Ice, and the best breakdown of all time is Beholder of Justice by Hatebreed. Yo, what's up? This is Sam from Drain. Greatest breakdown of all time, probably this love, Pantera. Yeah, all right, later. Hello, this is Jordan from Two Minutes to Late Night, and Tower of Snakes is the greatest breakdown of all time. It's got the down picking part, the converge part, the open chugging part. It's three great breakdowns in one. It's science. This is Alec from God's Hate. The best breakdown is Build of Justice! Yo, what up? This is Seb from Regulate. Best breakdown of all time. Everybody gets hurt. Home front from Queens to Japan. All right, this is Justice. The hardest breakdown of all time is Victim by District 9. <laughs> My man. And that's yes. all. Amazing. That wasn't, wasn't that amazing. That was so lovely. How fun. Thank it's so fun. Thank you to the to all of our beloved hard correspondents for sending in their picks. <laughs> our field response. Our hard lore respondents for sending in their picks for best breakdown. Some great picks in there. Hard Lorians. Uh hard Lorian historians. <laughs> Brit Britty with the with the Christian curveball, just course. as as we knew she would. Um all right. now it's it's time for our top fives. It really would you is. like would you like to begin? Okay, so looking back, yeah, all of mine had been mentioned. Really? Mentioned. Minus one. So I'm going to start with the one. It's by a little band called Metallica. Oh, shit. Have you heard of them? <laughs> I've heard of them. The song is Blackened. Oh. Incredible pit part. And I mean pit part. Yeah. I don't mean spin kick pit part, but I do no, mean like pit. thrash metal, like skank pit part. It is a pitiable, is a moshable part, Dude. and that's that's what this is about. Unbelievable part. For a while, I thought possibly a better record opener than Angel of Death. I don't believe that anymore, yeah. but I was debating. Mm. That's how like huge I think that song is. Okay. And then also, lest we forget, after the solo, the <laughs> like <laughs> really cool. Yeah, love it. Uh, I didn't even consider Blackened. Yeah. And it's, it's a great pick. And I mean, look, and Justice for All is, is I always say it's the record with like the best singles on it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the best record, no. but that song, yeah. I mean, they, they opened with that song for like eight years. It was yeah. like the opener. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a perfect song. Yeah. How long is that intro before vocals come in? Dude, 
I Eternal. saw what do you know what that I, I think it's like a minute yeah. uh, or, or or before vocals, probably like yeah. two. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, the intro of like the that a guy figured out what that is and it's guitar is playing in reverse. So he figured it out forward on TikTok and then reverses it and it's note for note. Wow. So that was crazy. As somebody who's listened to that song a thousand times. So does that mean that's what they did too? Yeah, absolutely. They played it. They like wrote it forwards, but played it in reverse. So it would sound crazy. What happened to them? I don't know. (laughs) Money. Money is what happened to them. Just why? You don't have to try it. Yeah. It just like doesn't matter money for sure. All right. We could, we could write an incredible Metallica record. I think. Wouldn't that be fun? Let me let me get James on the horn. James, hit us up. My number five, and this is good because this is a song you mentioned. Okay, is this in order? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, mine okay. are in order. Okay, no, I, I can. Okay, that that was my number five. Okay, all at war. Mm-hmm. Resist. Mm-hmm. Truth in the Age of Lies version. Ah, with the intro because I think the intro is the breakdown that I'm talking about. I'm gotcha. not talking about searching. For salvation, but the verse that the the truth and the Angelized version of that is better too because when it gets to the the realize in the background he's going realize <laughs> and I yeah. think that is way harder than the for those who are crucified version. Okay. But the intro yeah. is <laughs> the <laughs> fifth best breakdown <laughs> ever written. Wow. Okay. Stamp. Thank you. All at war. Um, so I'm going to skip one because I'm going to think of a replacement because I had propaganda. You're going to think of a replacement? Trust me. I'm going to I'm going to do it. But I had propaganda. Okay. By Sepultura. But you're not going to say propaganda. I'm not going to say that because we already talked about it and it's just kind of like a, a waste. So I'm going to try to think of another one. So I'm going to move ahead. Okay. Tomorrow. You're going to think of something that wasn't on your list? We already talked about it, thing? and I didn't scroll up to realize that we were talking about my, uh, a top five of mine. Otherwise, I would have said, let's I think say you that. should stick to your instinct here. If you think of another one, that's great, but you okay. didn't instinctively pick that whatever that thing you think of is. So how can it be top five? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Dude, listen to your heart. Propaganda. I, we talked about it earlier. It no, is, I got it, another it, one. Carcass. <laughs> embodiment wow out of his ass he comes in with a heater the and a nice little wee little squeal and then oh dude moshable again carcass many moshable moments many moshable parts and then into a, a double time part unbelievable Good, good pick. Can't believe you pulled that one out like that. Heartwork is like an incredible record. Sonically, mm-hmm. it's fucking perfect. Yeah, one of like the best. I, one of the best sounding like records ever. Bill Bill Steger's solos like rock every single time. The parts yeah. are all there. Dude's vocals sound fucking insane. You know, that's a good pick. That's especially one that you just pulled truly from the depths of your ass. Is <laughs> awesome. Just, good job. Thank you. My number four. You ready? I'm I'm so ready. Triptychon. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce this word. I think it's Goisha. Yeah. Goisha. Dude. Twelve minute song. Seven minute build to this part. Oh, and the actual yeah. breakdown. Dun, 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 that I've never listened to that without it being the max volume that my device can go. <laughs> Whatever it is, just I blow my shit out <laughs> to listen to that part every time. Uh, we first heard that song and record with your brother mm. in Europe. Like I, I possibly he showed us, or we it had come out around it came that out time that year. So we were all kind of listening to it. Either way, I, I vividly remember like all of us being like, 
Lord, have mercy, shall pop boy. And the, the Satan, Father. Has ravaged this my soul. <laughs> Old Tom Amazing. G has 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 all has written many of yeah. the most moshable moments in history. Yeah. But Goisha, seven minutes in, and there's like five minutes after it. Dude. This little part that happens for 10 seconds is the fourth hardest breakdown in the history of music. I'm thinking of progeny too. Progeny's crazy. <laughs> And then what's the what's the immediate happy part? Oh man. Yeah. That you record talk, I mean Monotheus has a ton of a ton. Monotheus is my personal favorite. Mm-hmm. Um it be you want to talk about quote unquote dumb riffs played, played by geniuses, yeah. <sighs> Celtic Frost, Monotheus. I think they got like that's it for me. Yeah. I mean it's like you go back to Hellhammer and you go, Oh, you were not smart. You know, <laughs> and then and then they were somehow. Um, all right, my next. Trypticon Goetia. Great answer. I Blast forgot it. all about Trypticon. Great answer. Huge pit. Whew. My next one is by a band. Colin, hold that shirt up for me. I can't quite read it. Oh, Marauder. Let me New say. York let City. me say it for you. Yeah, yeah. Say it for me. Which song is it? Besiege the masses. Nope. I knew it. Really? Yeah. And I have told you what it is. So it's so not we, creator, creator. I mean, no, you love time end. So is it time end? It's in? time end. It's the wow. yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah, but you've covered the creator, creator part. So that's what made me think no, that's what you were picking. Because what? No, we covered the life is pain part. Oh, I thought you did creator, creator. No, but I do love creator, creator. I mean, I love that part. I think that is other than Master Killer. That's the hardest breakdown on the album. But you're going time. Life is pain. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, for me, time ends starts the fucking record. Yeah. Starts the greatest record ever written. <laughs> ever, yeah. Right? Uh, it's like a pretty song into like an ugly verse into the <laughs> chorus. Yeah. And then you get this little, <laughs> like a little metal riff. You don't really know where it's going. <laughs> Closed hi hat part. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Un. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna argue that. And then a solo that works perfectly. And the way they used to go, they used to go. They'd go Master Killer into Time Ends. Everything about Time Ends is perfect to me. I mean, it's it's that's that's an Angel of Death level. Yes, opener. Simply it, put, everything about that song I think is perfect. Okay. It, it, the way that it ends, and that's and that's why I like I don't I don't even think about that part as a breakdown. I think about that whole song as like. I don't. I if it feels wrong for me. I don't know. You're no, right. No, I know. It's I'm like picking you. your favorite pet. Exactly, I, I and totally that's why understand. it was so difficult. I that's totally why understand. as as singular pits, Master Killer is the most obvious. I like that and, as as men who are both uh, convinced to not have children. <laughs> I didn't say it's like picking your favorite child. <laughs> it's like picking between Chili and Chili too. <laughs> that's way harder, dude. It's, it's between not Chili and Zoe is. is <laughs> I would never. You know. Um. Yeah, time ends is is okay. That's my favorite pit part on my favorite uh-huh. song on my favorite record. That's a, that's a, that's awesome. It's everything. To quote contestants on Family Feud, good answer, good answer, <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Uh, okay, number three, written by, and this is this is indisputable. Mm. Okay. No matter what the order of this top five is, no matter what else the other 25 were, the greatest mosh scientist Mm. in the history of music, Mm. friend of the show, guest of the show, Jamie Josta. This is Hatebreed Doomsayer. Mm. I think that is number three breakdown of all time. Your top five is throwing me for a loop. I did not think you would say that for Hatebreed. 
You know what my honorable mention is? I bet you don't. No, I don't. It's unloved on Perseverance. Oh. It's a Sean Martin breakdown. Okay. That's my honorable mention for Hate Breed, but Doomsayer, I think, in terms of what we're you and I talk about in songs, where it's this constant crescendo yeah to this yeah. moment that you know is coming because it's them you know i love the fucking i'll be your doom shit yeah motherfucker. Motherfucker. uh it, it's a constant build it's a really kind of simple song structurally uh like until that moment which makes it hit harder because on repeat listens it's very easy to absorb everything the the verse is just a hard thing the chorus is like a pit part yeah. Never to rise. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, into the third best breakdown ever written. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, the, the eight eight on, on every record. eight on the nine <laughs> on yeah. every downbeat. You know, it's so good. Well, perfect because my next pick by a little band called Hatebreed was also a fan favorite or, you know, friend of the show favorite as we heard beholder of justice. Yeah. Right after or before, I believe those songs are back to back. I think they're back to back. Um, Dan, dig it, dig it again, dig it, dig it again, dig it, 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 dig it. One of the great honors of my life is sound checking that with them. on that's kit. Fantastic. Um, so I, didn't brush up on it, just went in, knew it, knew the whole you thing, knew it. good to go. That song does a thing. It takes a while to get to the pit part. It's a long, I think I'm, there's I'm, three I'm, verses. Dig, there might be. I think it's long, but then they, they do one of my favorite things that most bands I don't think could pull off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do that yeah. with the double bass part. And yeah. then, why have you a bad three times they play the breakdown three times and then a third time yeah they did they play it all the way through three times it's almost like the ending is the fourth measure in a way like the that last little chorus is the fourth measure of it like it's right to yeah, close it right out. right um it's super heavy. I swear the the 808. I I for sure think I ruined a car speed. My my <laughs> Nissan Sentra, my friend. <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> fucking part. And I can that, vividly think of Sean on the the Detroit DVD with like his his build down just build down moshing head back the, the up bang <laughs> unbelievable part. Yeah, that's my number you. two breakdown of all time. That's your number two. Yeah, because I did I did Metallica first. I I went first, and that was your. Oh number two, right, and okay. Number one. My number two. Mm-hmm. I've talked about it on the show many times. Mm. I think transitionally, this is the best breakdown ever. Like the best what way does that mean, transitional. Oh, like oh, the oh. best way that they build to it and then finally let it hit mm-hmm. in the transition. The way that it finally hits. Crowbar to carry the load. I think your brother agrees. Now they fake you out like three times. Mm-hmm. You're like, what are they doing with this crazy thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they finally give it to you. And it's like this off time. The riff is like keeps going around and the drums are just that dun dun so cool. dun 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 yeah. dun 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 wow uh, and again they know what they're doing they know what they're doing love they that. know they know when are, they're like this is the heaviest fucking riff in the world that's an actual c- quote from kirk at some point kirk like um, i love that man he's like yeah. he's like a, a just a a learned elder 100 of the craft you know and he accepted the tongues far before most of the world i remember 
I remember that. He, I remember him wrote, posting like a picture with the CD. I remember that. Love There's No Law, like very early. And I know he finished it because he got to the Suck My Dick hidden track on the CD oh. and was like, love the carnivore cover at the end. Love that carnivore cover, brother. Yeah. So Dude, he, one of my he, favorite, there's a, um, a live, they're somewhere in Europe, maybe walking. They're, they're about to play um, Planets Collide. Mm-hmm. Possibly the greatest song ever written. Yeah. <laughs> like, like a serious contender. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like man uh, in the mirror. Yeah. Planets Collide, um, my way, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but he goes, uh, this next song goes out to uh, Weissen O'Neill. I think that's his name. <laughs> that's it. That's oh it. Oh my god! Just hilarious. All right. Yeah, this Mosh my, Scientist. Yeah, what's your number one? Hit me. This dude. is my number I'm, one all time. I'm very I excited. think it might be obvious, um, but I think it's like it's. They still play it, and they, it, it's got the video, the live video from Moscow. It's got everything. Domination by Pantera. Domination. Think about the. With the the reverby snare, again, God. they knew. It's like a reverse the, snare. It's very bizarre, whatever yeah, it is. Cool. But and for some reason works. They knew what they were fucking doing because yeah. then on the one hundred and one proof live album, the, you hear Rex's bass. Answer me, you hear the fucking bass on the Cowboys from Hell album? Like, they know that this yeah. is the part, like, this is where people are going to kill each other. Absolutely. And it, 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 like, hardcore bands are still covering this to this day. This, a new level, is, and again, as we explored with Suicide Note 2, yeah. whether they know it or not, is written from the hardcore perspective, considering what the influences were here. I just, um, I just think, like, it's still, I still go, fuck this part. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's on their first record with that lineup. Yeah. And when they play it live, there's no guitar during the solo, and it still sounds insane. Which is awesome. Pantera is weird because sometimes there would be a backup guitar playing, even on recordings. Sure. Yeah, I mean, even on that there is, on the record. Right. But live, it's, it's just them ripping, and it sounds fucking incredible. It's four dudes, and it's the biggest riff ever. Yeah. And I and it, like along with Raining Blood, I think is kind of like the proto current heavy breakdown that we know. Sure, of. ripped off to smithereens. To sm- absolute smiths. Yeah. And good, good pick. It's just, it's just like it, it's like it's almost de facto. Like it just has to be my pick. You know, I respect it. Respectable. The whole song rocks too. That's the other thing too. It's not just mm-hmm. that part. And you'll find three out of five of my top five was not hardcore bands. Mm-hmm. How many out of five of yours was not hardcore bands? Well, we've said publicly that Sepultura is a hardcore band, but yeah, but like to the world, you know, three out of five, not yeah. I have Hey Breed Marauder <laughs> because number one, yeah, suffocation, yeah, thrones of blood. Dude, I was wondering where suffocation, like this whole time I was thinking, and then I went, oh, <laughs> like I know where they are. And, and you know, I had to sort my top five today. Yeah. So in order to do that, I put my AirPods on wow. and then listen to them again and hear regular speakers. Yeah. As loud as I could. And just decided. Just, and just the one that made me feel the most was after <laughs> that was where my body physically went <laughs> like just with, yeah. against my will just started rocking Ooh, um, that's good and the other ones were just kind of like i knew i was like yeah i love this part but this the great, thrones but of the- blood this time around in the test to where they fit absolutely like i had i had an involuntary physical reaction to it yeah i think Uh, it's the best breakdown ever the best breakdown ever i love that that's great suffocation Um, thrones of blood good job suffocation (laughs) well done i think um if i'm if i'm being super super honest 
I think I know I pulled embodiment out of my the the bowels of my bowels, but like mm-hmm. I think I would probably actually say Davidian mm. if I had to replace propaganda. You're just yeah, not you know. wanting to go with like the stock answer. Well, just also I already said my machine head pick. Yeah, right. No, but, that's true. Then that's that's against the rules. It's so. against the rules. But if but yeah, so that's whatever. Too, so Excellent that's, top fives. Right. And now we oh, have this is fun. This is very fun. This is fun. I actually I have to go to the playlist because I have it on there. Okay, I've got it. I've got it right here. So I could just start. Go ahead. Yep. You start. Did you do did you do both of my bands in one list? Yeah. Okay. So I've got I did I've got one beautiful Bo and I are gonna trade top fives for each other's bands now. Yeah. So I picked five harm's way songs, he picked five something. Are you going in order? Yeah, bottom to top. I did five to one. Okay. You're doing no partick? I was I was gonna do no partick, yeah. I think no partick is like a little kinder. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I love I, the all five are great. That's why I put these here. Okay. You know? Go ahead. Number five. Mind control. Really? Oh Holy yeah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> no. You when, know that was for yeah, me. Yeah, when Chris goes to the 16th notes on the hi hats, it's still like one of my favorite parts to play live. I think it's And really that was like I was on the blinded tour, you know? I did that. That was yeah. Europe with yeah. me. Yeah. So I watched that song go from like, okay, we're trying to get this new single over to permanent hit. That on this obscure EP now you could still play and it'll and it'll pop. I um I love playing that song live too. It's just like fun the whole time. You're just kind of going and then there's like the cool chorus part. Like it's, it's just a really fun song to play. Yeah, I love that song. I have fond memories of that. Good, good pick. Nice. I didn't I didn't expect that. That was a good one. Um, I'm gonna go with maybe one you wouldn't expect. I'm scared. The breakdown to disharmony. Oh, dude! Fucking rips, dude. That was that was a. I mean, that was Smosh Science. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh wow, interesting. Not dad and dad and dun and dun and dun dun dun. I love that part. Yeah, but, but you for like me, that. and this is documented in a "This Is Hardcore," right? Set of yours where I'm diving like a maniac the whole time. Right. That part. Yeah. I mean, we love that part, and that's why. Like, we wanted to fill this song with as as many Moshwell yeah. moments as we could. Yeah, just kind of to establish, like, hey, this is what we are. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. this is our intention is kill. I think that riff is like cool. It's not an easy riff. No, you know, it's kind of tricky and technical, but it like fits in with the song, and it's just like it's always in my head. I love that song. I love that part of that song too. All right. That's a that's a fun answer. Yeah. <laughs> I like that answer. Good answer. All right, my number 4. Mm-hmm. Become a machine. Yeah. What can you do, you know? Dude, I I think I've said it before but but probably a long time ago unless people would have heard it. The breakdown to become a machine was not in the song. Not in the song. The song ended with the- down, down, and then we just hung. crazy. It's crazy. And it was just gonna like then, end. Then and I, I, I think it was Putney who was like, mm-hmm. maybe we bring back the. It's a good producer. And I'm just glad you did. Yeah. Um, because it led to an all-time harm's way moment. Really, I, I agree. The biggest it's, song. I, I human carrying capacity is the okay the most played song, but that could be de facto first track on the most first track. track. You know yeah. that that happens. Either way, um, we close with it a lot, which kind of tells yeah. you something. And yeah. it's it kind of gets the most. I, I, it gets one of the bigger pops. I think. I it's love. like the. I mean the the uh, the statement of becoming yeah. a machine is like is the harm's way ethos. You know? I love playing that song too. It's a great it's one. So fun. Great job. <sighs> that was a a Nick riff for sure. Wow, go Nick. Nick. Nick's good job, always- Nick. I was gonna say good job, Chris and James, and then you, I, th- you I think uh, I mean I I don't honestly. It was so we wrote we were writing that record in 2017. Wow, you know, many know years ago. Yeah. Um, be harder. Yeah, <laughs> just that. I mean, that breakdown is like one of my 
one of my greatest. It's like your magnum opus. For that is, that's my, when, like, when I finished that, and I was like, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> the record could have been just that, and I would have been proud. Um, it's amazing. The message is amazing. I wore the shirt yesterday. Yeah, it's a good shirt. Dude. It's just, it's got it all, you know. Yeah. <sighs> And that's and that's and it, and like that was the whole intention of that was like intro and entire song building up to this one moment. Yeah, and it was uh, it was the teachings of these thirty one songs. Right. Yeah. Led, exactly. That led me there. Exactly. That's well put. Yeah. My number th- three. Mm-hmm. Scrambled man. Ah, yeah. ten ton hammer. <laughs> ten ton hammer, but also. But are you talking about the intro? I'm talking about both the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's. Very Two fun. epic, big, different pits in one all-time great opening track. That's a really good opening track. Scrambled was sick. And I remember, what's funny is I remember when we were writing it, we were, um, that was Chris. Bah, no, no, that's a Chris riff. Wow. And the. Um, so he went. Boom, 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 Chris can play. Oh, it's James that does the James does the, the, the full bar yeah. chord. <laughs> Bam, yeah. Hey, if um, it works, man. And then I remember c- coming up with the breakdown. I had the idea to do the machine head thing. Uh-huh. The land and again and again, and then sure. the, with a minor key change, <laughs> a half step down. Mm-hmm. Um, and the land and 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 like I just, I just remember feeling? thinking like it'll it'll kind of bookend the song. This will be good. The yeah. intro is what's really gonna make people go. Sure. But then like it the the intro, you need the ending for the intro to work, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh and hell did that did that intro work. And then yeah. the, 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 the that ending work. So scrambled, great job. Third, my third favorite harm's way. I know what down. your number one is gonna be. I wonder what your number two is gonna be. Oh. I'm interested to see. <laughs> <laughs> number two might be my actual number one. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to jump up or jump. Well, I'm just on the list, but I'm going backwards in time. Feed your disease. What can you do? We're talking pit part. Yeah. <laughs> you got the <laughs> intro, which is yeah. obviously insane. Big riff. Big riff. Big bolt thrower riff. Mm-hmm. Right? I would imagine. Oh, yeah. um, love the song. But then the slowed down breakdown, the second. Slowed down breakdown. <laughs> and then live we'll throw in the frigid breakdown there sometimes yeah, 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 for yeah. fun. Feed Your Disease was, was one of those tracks that was just like effortless to make. You know? <sighs> like a one day. Beautiful. Taylor and I in a room being like, what about this? Love Is it. Is that what about on this? the, the Preacher Man? It's, on, it's track two. It's, it's Preacher Man, Feed Your Disease. Right. Yeah. Um, and I remember you know, what's funny is I remember George Hirsch being in town when we recorded that. Yeah. And it meant a lot for him to be like, that's a good song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that, that like I was a big blacklist guy. So yeah, that was for nice. Sure. And then he wore the long sleeve, uh, the, the circle one year. That was nice. Um, yeah, yeah, that was nice. That's a track. Those are those little moments that you don't, yeah, forget, yeah. you know, He's somebody those, putting you over in some way. Stardust moment. Number two, hit me. Fantasy. Oh, yeah. But which part? Ending. The Oh, really? See, because... Oh, my God. People would ask us to play fantasy, and they really pop for the intro. And then Dude, not so much the rest of the song. The ending is fucking insane. You need to... Listen, I'm sorry, <laughs> Chris and James. You don't... Yeah, I'm sorry. Re-record the thing. Mm. put it out again sure yeah that'd be awesome but if you don't like i mean it's got to be out there i know it's on apple music and not spotify or something i yeah that's justin i don't know yeah there's something but uh, who cares because the song's out there you can find it harm's way fantasy on the no gods no masters ep Mm. holy fuck this is so this was like this followed up Reality approaches, right? Yeah, yeah. This was a, a huge tonal shift. This is when loved James reality approaches. This is when James it. became like primary songwriter. Thank God, because I loved reality approaches, but this felt like 
harm's way has arrived. This was that your the to you the preacher man seven inch was yeah. that yeah yeah no gods no masters was that for me even though I liked reality approaches but this was like five complete songs that were this like beautiful vision start to finish, um, and fantasy was the the shining star yeah in this beautiful night sky. <laughs> I think on the the terror tour in 2018 we played it because we we had the sample because we would play the chainsaw sample, ah! and then chris would <laughs> bah, bam, yeah, you know it's a lot of fun i i love that song but unf- it's love just kind song. of like in between the it's intro old. and ending it's long there's a sure. lot there and it's old now you got you got songs that people want to hear that aren't that yeah of course that we have that's been playing it, since exactly 10 exactly um scared finish Oh, the job. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. It's not a breakdown, but it's the pit part. Oh, it's the, the part, the kill them part. Kill them. Yeah. Makes me feel insane. So that single, the, the, when that finally comes in with the kill them is my favorite moment on yeah. the whole record. Yeah. That was, I, that was where, so that song was a lot different. Um, there was a never ending game song. Which song is it, Will, if you're listening? Where they do the coldest life with the feedback, like the Born to Land hard part, where it feeds back into one guitar playing the riff. And that's what that bridge part was before the the blast. So the blast was was a Born to Land hard. Gotcha. Like uh off time double kick. And then Will sent me the never ending game song, and I was like, you motherfucker. I just wrote this, but geographically you have dibs on the vibe. <laughs> so then it was like, all right, I'm just going to blast the whole time and have one guitar playing the thing. And it like made the song cooler. So I'm glad that that happened. Um, and that part, that single part of the, dun, 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 with the single kick is with the kill them was like minute one. I was like, all right, over this, it's going to say kill them like DSI. <laughs> like there was not, there was the two parts were never existed without each other. Yeah. Um, like the two, the two elements of the part never exist without each other. Um, so I knew going into it, I was like, just wait for the kill them part. It's going to be sick. Uh, and it, and, and even it was the kill them part from the beginning and it ended up that way. My favorite single moment on the whole record. I, I think mine too. Nice. I, well, I remember hearing you sent me it before it was I out. And I remember <laughs> just being like, Whoa, that part's <laughs> crazy. And then infamously, yeah, seeing you play it at Sound and Fury. Yeah. And I've 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 likened it to Saruman telling the Orokai <laughs> to go to war. Because that is literally what it looks like. It, and that's the vibe. To war! You know, it, un, or vibe. he's telling the, the the mountain men that we're they're... begging them to go to war. Kill them, please. Kill them. The royal them. Love that part. All right. My number that's one. Nice. My number one is breeding grounds. Yeah. And it's like, if this, if we weren't doing this, this five things, uh-huh. I would have had breeding grounds in my, in my 30, you know, beautiful. But I, I took it out so that we could do this. Love that. Breeding grounds. Chris Mills. Oh, Chris fucking Mills. You're a gangster, Chris. That's a Chris. You're Mills a little genius special. who's, yep. who happens to be buff with a huge dong. <laughs> um, you won't like that. <laughs> All right, fine. Tiny dong, but <laughs> br- but breeding grounds is is a timeless, extreme music classic at this point. I think you remove hardcore, remove metal, remove what a, whatever label. If you like music that goes boom, you'll <laughs> hear breeding grounds, and you'll be like, yeah, this is one of the good ones. <laughs> this is one of the good ones. That's a good one. There's two versions. There's a the Breeding Ground Seven Inch, the single version, right? Has no 808 on the isolation version. Love the 808. It's a re-recording. There's an 808. The sample's lessened. The sample's really long on the Breeding Grounds version. Um, People are of no value. Yeah, amazing. Um, I, that song. God, it was written so long ago. It was like 2010. What's cool oh is that's that's on the tail end of No Gods. Like, yeah, we we started writing for isolation like almost right away. You can tell. Um, yeah, 
And like when you do it live with the like extended, dun, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, I just make noise during that part. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's and really Chris cool. Is like that song steady is really on fun. the crash. Um, it's a perfect song. It's a, it's one of one of Harm's Way's best songs for sure. That's one of those those songs where it hits and there's palpable fear. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It's just like yeah. Looking around, like <laughs> picking your enemies, you know? That song's so fun. And what's really cool is, like, that song, and especially at that time, we were heavily influenced by Godflesh. And Broderick remixed that song and, like, That's very did cool. shit to it. He was like, oh, I really like that one. It's like, yeah, <laughs> That's <bet."> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. My number one. World ah. War Five. Yeah. <laughs> 2015. <laughs> uh-huh. You guys played This Is Hardcore. Yeah. Saba did the... You can die in pain. But he, yeah. he said the wrong thing. He did, and it was still cool. And it was still cool. Yeah. I grabbed him by the head, and we were like forehead to forehead yelling it, and then I moshed as hard as I could yes. for that part. But before the scary part, <laughs> for the initial <laughs> okay. breakdown. And then when okay. it got scary, I got scared. Okay. Um, that, I have, we've talked about it. We played North Carolina on the tour, and you guys closed with that. And then, like, that venue was getting closed down, so people just, like, oh, yeah. tore shit apart. Just wrecked the venue. I, that was, that part gives me fear. Wow. That part is, like, scary. I'll never get to experience that. Isn't that sad? <laughs> Have you ever? I mean, I'm sure you've played shows where you on stage are like, "Oh shit!" Like, where yeah, oh, it's the best. There's there's one time where Dorian from Soul Search sang the part. Yeah, I think there's a video I have to ask um, <laughs> where he sings the part and then drops the mic and just like full donkey kicks oh. like the first person in the front. Yeah, I've and seen the that. way where they just disappear and then Dorian disappears and you just see like. <laughs> <laughs> um that that is uh we're so proud to have one of those moments you know yeah of like a, like an oh shit everybody's dying moment because that's all i want really and that's a two note breakdown two note breakdown um again heavily inspired by carnivore sex and violence mm -hmm. but also yeah when you said that earlier i went ah <laughs> yeah but big time the like did it uh earlier in the song is that Dun, 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 oh, dude, dun, 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 dun. that's right. There's like a fake out breakdown. That's the ending. Dun, 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 dun. So it's like that came first, and we were like, let's just Dumb take it. out ninety percent of it, yeah, and yeah. do that slow, wow. and then do the the double slow was like <laughs> Taylor and I. There, we would do this thing where sometimes we'd be playing, and one of us would be like, <laughs> and it would mean do it again, dumber. And there was like for for all of in love, all of sleep therapy, and all of disharmony. It was Taylor and I in the pit. Uh, just I'm playing drums, he's playing guitar, mm -hmm. writing the songs, and like somebody would come with something like, okay, play this riff, uh, and then it, so we'd make something up, and then sometimes just improv into the next part, uh, and then we'd just come up with something on the fly, and he would leave it rolling, just in case, and we'd go back and be like, that was dope, let's do that. Um, uh -huh. but a lot of those big moments were organic. Just Taylor and I making a funny face, <laughs> being like, "What? What? Uh, what floor? Flat yeah. floor?" Uh, yes. And I'll, that was that's a vivid one. I'll, I'll never forget. It's because we were laughing at while playing it, <laughs> 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 like like crying, laughing, <laughs> going dun 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 dun. Scary. Uh, I've heard bands since try the Tom only thing. It's very hard to do. It's so hard to do because there's, I, I, I'll fully admit when I first heard it, I was like, oh, there's no payoff to this part. This is weird because of the Tom only thing. It doesn't sure. gung, 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 yeah. gung. You know, it doesn't go into something like well, you might think. Well, Bo. I was wrong. It grew. Just wait for, just wait. Oh, no. <laughs> for maybe something coming. <laughs> That's been uh, <laughs> hard lore, the best breakdowns ever. Wow. Thank Our lists so were pretty diverse and oh. not a lot of overlap. Almost really no overlap. 
This was two. so fun. It was so fun. How was your uh, for second day of, or first day of unemployment? My f- first real day of unemployment was pretty pretty, pretty stuff. You want to know what's funny? I oh. woke up at eleven, which is earlier than I woke up while I was working. So maybe the oversleeping came from like stress about the job. Maybe. Nice. Um, went tell to me the about gym. your mother. Tell me, tell me about my mom. Is that what you said? I'm just going to be your therapist now, live on the show. Live on the show. Who touched you? Who hurt you <laughs> the most? That was hard, Laura. Uh, the best breakdowns ever. Thank you so much for joining us. That was great. We didn't uh, get to users, or user submitted, uh, listeners submitted. Somebody made a playlist. Uh, it's out there in the responses of like everything that anybody submitted. So go listen to those. Uh, and I'll be honest, a lot of the stuff that you guys submitted, I just didn't know. I don't know it or I don't like it. And I don't want to ever use this to shit on something. To shit really. on something. This yeah. is not what this is not our intention, um, other than a few things, which <laughs> are established at this point. Uh, but thank you so much for listening. We will see you next week. And Bo, I'll see you mm. tomorrow. In Chicago. Bye. Bye.